Davey. Test. Test, test, test. We're live. Normally they yell Doug as some sort Yell of... Davey. Yell Davey. Don't say Doug. If you say Doug, you're banned. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I'll mod you right now. Mod, so mod, I'm, I'm, not, I'm totally, I'm not a mod on you. Oh, yeah. I ought to be, or at least a VIP. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's Hello Cake Bread, right? Yes. Okay. And that's uh, this applies to the whole stream, so you guys. I, Anyone what, who says what anything I, other than Davey, insta -ban. Yeah, if, yeah. What can I do as a mod? I don't even know what mods do. Uh, you can. Can I ban you? <laughs> you can try. All right. How do I ban you? I think slash ban. Slash ban. ban. Oh, are right. we good? Doug, Doug, W. You like that? Uh, yeah. Let's, okay. Let's see what happens. All right, we're banning Doug from his own channel. Did it work? You cannot ban the broadcaster. Fuck! Well, it's been a good stream, everybody. Well, everyone. <laughs> that was all we had thanks, planned. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Uh, um, I just, uh, I just went on Twitch to copy your thing, and uh, Lyric is streaming Stanley Parable right now, so that means we have to be bigger than his. <laughs> I thought you said you were going to leave and go to his house. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to, yeah. That's, this, the deal was, I... I whoever's the, the biggest Whoever's the biggest, yeah, about. for the next few hours. Yeah, I go to their, I go to their channel. Oh, fuck. So I'm just saying we have to be bigger than Lyric's stream of Stanley Parable. I want us to, I want our viewer count to be higher than his. You heard that chat. Get that's out the view bots. That's a direct challenge to everyone at home to view bot Doug's channel <laughs> until we are bigger than Lyric's Stanley Parable stream. Um, did you see the time, were you there, that stream where I asked everybody to open my stream on a second device and then realized that it's like very not TOS and instantly got 500 followers, like 500 new viewers? That's the highest I've ever been, I think, was when I just asked everybody to make a, <laughs> to open my stream on another device. And you can just, you can just inflate the shit out of it. It's great. Uh, but did you get like banned for that or something? No, because I realized it five minutes later and told everybody to close it, and they didn't seem to notice or whatever. Yeah. Twitch, you mean? Yeah. Like Twitch doesn't. They don't watch, seem to care. Watch you. <laughs> no. Constantly as your. Yeah. Uh, Only Cherry does, and I bribed him. We've also got. <clears throat> we've also got this. Hi. Hi. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hi everyone. Did you tweet? Yes, oh, I did. That's your tweet. I did. Okay. Quote tweet. Um. <laughs> uh. Today's a game design class. Yeah. Is what I've decided. If you don't <laughs> learn game design, then you're bad at chat. <clears throat> Do you recognize this? This music? Did you own a... Well, this will give it away. Did you own a Vita? Yeah. Oh, is this the... It's the menu music. This is the menu music? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say it. I, I, I love the menu music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, hello, welcome everybody. Today we have a special guest lecturer, Davey Reedon. He's, uh, he made the Stanley Parable. And so, um, and a new Stanley Parable just came out. So, <clears throat> I figure that who better to learn game design from than, than this guy, who's, who's all I could get. So, uh, the way this is gonna work is I'm just gonna be playing the Stanley Parable blind. I haven't played it before. This is the new one, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, so I have not played it. I'm gonna be playing through just totally, uh, n you know, no spoilers or anything, and just experiencing the game. And you guys will be able to ask Davey questions and get his thoughts on what making this game was like, um, and, and game design in general. And specifically for you to graduate this class, there are 30 secret words that Davey doesn't know and that you don't know, but my voice program is gonna be listening. So it's like, here. Like. You just said like. Dumbass. That's not one of the words. There's there's 30 words. You have to you have to find 25 of them. They're all related to either gaming or business. And you have to discover and tease out the most important words from game design business, uh, from one of the best, and then you graduate. One of, one of the best? Top top 18. So excuse me, top 36. Top 36. 
and um uh so we'll we'll just i'll just be playing through and then you guys can ask questions and uh and davy will respond and you have to try to get him to say the words that you think are related to game design that he also doesn't know you can't just type them into chat you gotta you gotta ask questions okay you gotta be smart about this anyway that's the premise i'm game we're design, mostly just playing game design is not that difficult really <laughs> a lot of people think that it's a lot of people think that it's something you have to know a lot of skills but it really just boils down to you know the uh the 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 12 t's of game design uh -huh. right typing <laughs> <laughs> typing traveling <laughs> uh text to speech <laughs> yeah yeah uh, uh tor don't sh shut up for like two goddamn <laughs> seconds in your life okay t number four um toast <laughs> t number five toasted toasted uh bean no no that counts under toast I forgot. <laughs> that's that's part of I, for, I keep forgetting that uh t number five is sorry that's a that's a sub alert text to speech is muted right now by the way guys i'll unmute it later uh can I thank your subscribers? Yeah. For, hey, right. peasants. Oh, don't listen to this. Okay, I'll turn that oh, shit off. Use that shit oh, sparingly. Oh, so, so these are the Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, so these these are the alerts. And then, so these are, this is donating bits. This is a subscription. You can use the mouse if you want, because then you can scroll through. It's easier. Okay, wait. So I so which ones are subscriptions? The stars? The stars are subscriptions. Yeah. Here, here, just pull it up so people okay. know. It's, you can pull it I've here. Never, I've never done this before. I yeah. like... I need my best. I like. I'm gonna put on my best. Like Twitch, Twitch, because uh, I've never, I've never gotten to do this. Yeah, right, use your Twitch voice. Hey, you just Jacob. said like, dumbass. <laughs> Shut, Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna turn that hey, one. Hey, Barry. <laughs> Thanks so much for the nine months. Hey, peasants. Uh, listen to hey, this. Scuba do that. Oh, no. Thanks for five months. Hey, Matt D. Thanks for five. Hey, who do two two two? Two 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 two. Thanks for your one. You gotta write their well, names. Well, 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 okay, you uh, people need to shut up. <laughs> Guys, you're gonna you're gonna make us look bad in front of the game designer. <laughs> both gave the mods conflicting instructions, who Ooh. do you think the mods would follow? Uh, I think they would need to see who is superior. Like, they're gonna follow the alpha wolf in the pack. But is it in that moment, like, in the end of mind, that the instruction is given, or is it like a general thing, like, who has the dominant presence throughout the stream? As opposed to, like, if I just made a really assertive demand. So generally, the rule we have is who benches the most. Who benches the yeah. most? What do you, what can you what can you bench? One. One? <laughs> <laughs> I can bench two. Shit. Um mods ban Davy. At mods don't ban Davy. Let's see what happens. Nick R. Robinson, thank you so much for the 12 months. Nick R. Robinson with the 12 months. With the 12 bomb. Alright, with the 12 bomb. I feel I like in my mind because i watched a lot of twitch i feel like it should be really easy for me to do the voice like but i i feel like i can't hang on dex dex 937 thanks for the five thanks for the five months hang on i'm gonna try this again 
Dex937, thanks so much for the five months. Uh, Boat Thief, thanks for the hundred bits. Hey, <laughs> peasants, <laughs> listen to <laughs> this. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, Ming, Ming's just dropped the fat, the fat one. Shut up. Minx, thanks for the thanks for the five gift subs. Playski, thanks for the prime. It doesn't sound right. Like, what am I doing wrong? Can you critique my Twitch voice? You need to come hey, in and make that you drop down. Listen yeah. to this. You start low. <laughs> Fifty with the five bomb. You You've literally never said that. I say that all the time. Have ever. you ever watched my stream? It's unbelievable. I watch your stream. You've never done that before. Where the hell? Oh, yeah, so maybe we'll do channel points to request a, uh, a question. That was a good Ooh, idea. I like that. That's good. You want to put the fart gates? <laughs> it's just, it's just, wait, no, no, no. Hold on. We don't need to do that. I've seen this before. Let's see what it sounds like. Uh -oh. I haven't done this in a couple right. months. Turn it on again. Turn it on again. Okay. Turn it on. Okay. Again. Okay. Turn it on again. <laughs> Everything you need to know about game design. Oh my god. Oh. We're co we've covered all of it here. Oh. Okay. Um. Far to the. Pa okay. All right. We close off the things. So maybe we'll do questions. Yeah, we'll do a channel point. Let's do a channel point um, question, Roar. That's good. Ask a game design question. Yeah, this is good. Okay. And then the description is. Um, Right there in the, the <laughs> meme. I don't know what else to add. Uh, I don't know how much this should cost. It's probably gonna be too many. Uh, I'll do 50k. I know that's a lot. But you're getting to talk for your 50k. Okay, now to, for reference, twice that is uh, oh, wait, letting no, people a fart a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> so I true. think so. I think half of that is a deal to get to talk talk directly to. Wait, hold on. Oh, and require them to enter text. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let me go back to the stream manager, and then I have to come. Oh, it always freezes. Oops, forgot about that. Uh, requests. Ask a game design question. Is it too expensive? We could, I mean, we could do 10k. I just, we're gonna get a lot of questions if we do. I feel like it's not working. Jesus way too, way too expensive. You guys just spent three million points <laughs> laughing for it. It's not too expensive. You're all insane. Did you forget five <laughs> well, that, minutes that's ago? That's the thing. They just like spent everybody. All, they, they, spent just, they just twenty five thousand. That's the thing. They just spent all their money laughing. <sighs> okay, this. Well, hold on. We'll start. This one looks legit. All right, maybe I'll make them cheaper. All right. Uh, okay. See. All right. We're all, immediately, I can tell we're gonna have a problem here. Yeah. So, how hard was it? The question is, how hard was it to port the entire game over to a different engine while making it feel exactly the same? Okay. Uh, you discovered you. the secret gaming word, engine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's that's one. Great job. Funny everybody. enough, engine is the fifth T of game design. You discovered the secret gaming word, engine. Oh, sure. All right, let me uh. Let me, let me remove that from the list. All right, don't look, don't look. Okay. Okay, you got one out of 25, chat. Anyway, now you can, sorry, now you can answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's already been answered by this point now. That was, that was it. Okay, no, no, so this, all right, this is actually, this is actually, it's gonna be kind of a bit of a, uh, an issue because let me, all right, let's, let's talk actually for a second in real, yep. real, real people talk. You discovered the secret gaming word, unity. That was I didn't even say I was right. about to say you need. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> no, I I was about to say unity, but I didn't, but I well, like that, I like that it <laughs> I like that it knew I was about to say unity. All right, 2 out of 25. Um 
Okay, so, uh, okay, so backstory. So I um, made the Stanley Parable mod back in 2011, and then after making the mod, Will, it was a Half-Life 2 mod, and then after making the Half-Life 2 mod, William Pugh joined me as the level designer to to remake the game uh, in the Source Engine, and and, the, and that was the 2013 game that came out. So William and yes. I were the two leads on that. We had other people helping as well, like uh, hi Andrea and Grand and whatever if you're if you're out there. Um, but uh, but William and I were the we're we're like the two main people on that. And uh, and I I mostly handled the writing and he mostly handled the uh, level design. I don't mean to interrupt, but you do have to use the streamer oh, voice. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Yo, Lord Raddington, thanks for the fifty gift sub bomb. Yo, that is so generous, dude. Thank you so much. Phase up. Really appreciate your support. Can we get a what's he, what's it what's an emote that you do? Uh, dance frog. Can we get a dance frog? Can we get some dance frogs in chat just take for the Lord Raddington? Thank you, dude, so much. That is super generous of you. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How was that? How, how did I do? It was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, dance frog's not an emote, so that's your only problem there. You we, told me to. You gotta research this in advance. <laughs> okay. I fell for the oldest trick in the book. All right, all right. Um... <laughs> Is that's not actually a thing? No. <laughs> okay, all right. Cool. I mean, they're trying. They're doing oh, their right. best. They're doing, yeah, hey, if you say it, if you do it enough, it'll turn into a email. Oh, wait, actually, real quick. By the way, is, is volume okay between the two of us? Because I have the, this mic is slightly different. Real quick, actual question. Because I can turn his gain up. He's lower. All right, I'll, okay. I'll boost you up a little I bit. I can also move it. I can also move closer to all the right. thing. Well, that already just increased gain, whichever. That way they have to listen to a bunch of white noise. If you, yeah, if you boost gain, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean. Twitch chat loves white noise. <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> uh, if you started streaming and you just played white noise through the audio, how long do you think, <laughs> like, how many viewers do you think you could get up to? <laughs> There's no other audio, just. There's a, a little ways ago, I, I just put up, I paused the stream. Like, I had just nothing there, and I went, this is during Peggle, and I, so I took a screenshot of my own stream paused and put that over, put that over uh, the actual stream. So when people tune in, it just looked like the stream wasn't working. Um, and then I kept talking as though it was working. Yo, AJ Collins, thanks for the 10 gifts. Boom, bro. AJ thank Collins. You, thank you, thank you. Can we get some dance frogs some in dance chat frogs up in for AJ Collins? <laughs> Um, but my viewers went up by 500 when there was no visual at all. Okay. It was just frozen. All right. Okay. All right. So the story. Okay. So the story continues. So Stanley Parable came out in 2013. It was most. It was primarily me and William. Okay. So then, um, so then we put out the game and it, and and it's it's successful. And then time goes by, and then uh the bec okay so Source Engine is. Uh, the what Valve used to make the Half Life and Portal games and everything, um, and it's a great engine for a lot of things, but it's notoriously difficult to port to other uh, to other platforms. Is it other... a great engine for a lot of things? No, it is a great engine for specific things. Okay, right? I thought it just sucked. No, 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 it doesn't just suck. It's that like like first person shooter like it's uh, Source is really a level designer's engine. Right, mm. it's like a first person. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. It's a first person level designers engine. It was made from the ground up with designing levels for first person environments. Yeah, <laughs> and it's great at that. But it is honestly not very good at pretty much everything else. Um, but you know, pretty much all of Valve stuff was just that's what it was. Um, so so you know, the question came up because it was only on PC. Yeah. Right. And so the question came up. <laughs> Is it possible to put this onto other consoles? I mean, back at, back then it was like PS3, right? Was the yeah. Yeah. was was the what what you want to put it onto? And uh, and William, I basically said I fucked off. I was like, all right, I don't want anything to do with this. And William was like, hey, you know, I'll 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 look, I'll poke around at it, and uh, tried to figure out, you know, some. We our, and our programmer looked at it too, and basically after a while, the the decision was made that porting from source is not going to be a good idea, right? And so then the idea came up to rebuild the game from uh, from the ground up in Unity. And and again, you know, this was not my this was not my like responsibility, 
right? I was like, hey, if you want to rebuild the game in Unity, I said to William, if you want to rebuild the game in Unity, cool. Um, so, so, he, so he, and at, that, at this point, his team, Crows, 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 he put together his team, Crows, 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 and they started making games like Dr. Langoskov and accounting. And he said, hey, what if we, what if we just bring it in house and we have crows, you know, work on this and rebuild the thing? And I was like, hey, sure, you know, you're you're handling the actual development of it. And then as that sort of question started to come together, it was kind of like, well, you know, hey, what if we added a new little thing here or there? And then, you know, at first, at the very beginning, it was kind of like, oh, we'll just add a new, you know... We'll add a new ending or something. And then it was like, well, we could add another new ending maybe. And then it sort of snowballed from there over the course of... Because we announced the game. We announced Ultra Deluxe in uh, 2018. And at that time, we were... It was kind of like, oh, we'll just, you know, we'll basically just remake the game in Unity and make it possible to port it. And then we'll just add a couple new things. And we thought it was going to take another year or something. And yeah. Then... Wait, so at that point, you didn't think it was going to have a bunch of extra stuff? We like, knew it was going to have extra it? stuff. <clears throat> we knew it was going to have that. And we announced it with extra stuff. But we didn't know how much. Jesus, well, we thought we knew how much. What was that? Oh, no. Oh, that was the thing. Yeah. yeah. We thought we knew how much. And then we were wrong. It was mm. just a lot. We... <laughs> We ended up making a lot more than we thought we were going to make. Yeah. And I remember at the time when we announced it, the uh, trailer that we did at the Game Awards, um, we uh, uh, we were debating in the trailer whether or not to put um, an hour of new content. That, that was what we were thinking. We thought it would be... Oh, like in we, the trailer? We thought it was going to have an hour of new content. Or I suspected it was going to have an hour of new content. Mm. And we ultimately decided not to because we were concerned we weren't going to hit an hour of new content and then it would look like misleading advertising. Yeah. And in retrospect, I'm glad we did not put an hour of new content because it actually undersells how much content is in the final thing. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. So I guess all of that is a really long way of answering this initial question, which was, uh, <laughs> what was the, initial? the initial question was how <laughs> hard was it to recreate the feeling of source in unity? Oh, okay. Um, because the because the original game being oh was, yeah 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 how hard was it to port the entire game to a different engine? So I was not involved in the porting process. Uh, Crows, 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 led by William and Dom and and Jan, uh, they all handled that. And um, so yeah, so unfortunately, I don't have a lot of meaningful uh, things to say about that. But we can have them message me the answer if they message me the if they're watching and if they message me the <laughs> answers, then I'll. Uh, uh, It'll only be one of the secret business words, though. It ha yes, exactly. Yo, RTS bathtub. What thanks the? for the ten thousand biddies. <laughs> Yo, ending where you and Doug kill crows, 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 shit yourself, and grabs the Declaration of Independence. Presumably, your viewers are so rich and so dumb. <laughs> it's amazing to me. <laughs> like it's incredible. We uh, we really found uh, that Venn diagram. Yeah, and, and, that, and I that went that right into slice, the, yeah. yeah. Ooh, it's a zesty slice. Um, the, okay, the next, the game next question. Design question is, the next <laughs> game design question is, hey, Doug, what is going on today? Um, hey, Essence of English Breakfast, thanks so much for asking that. Doug's doing great today. Um, and in fact, terrific is the sixth T of game, game design. Does game design. Of the, he's, how many, 12? Doing, of 12, yeah, 12 out of 12. Doug is doing terrific today. Um, so, Jesus, take the, the wheels for that. Oh, God, who did? Goofed. Oh, thank you, AJ. <clears throat> They're all behind. Goofed asks funniest game bug. Um, I'm I, yeah, I'm curious about this one. Although you probably don't really see them that much because you're not like debugging, right? <laughs> you're not like, coding. Well, I play the game a lot, so I encountered. Oh yeah, okay, like, actually, yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I that's right. That's right. I mean, I encountered <clears throat> ten million bugs while playing this thing. Okay, yeah, that's we, fair. Okay, there is a bug from the original game that we turned into a unique piece of content in the new version that I like it a lot. So oh, that's maybe cool. when we play, we can. Which at this rate, we're never gonna play. But yeah. Uh, but when we play, we can. Oh, I'll make sure that we go and do the the bug that's funny. Okay. Um. So we'll 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 get to that. Yeah, so I'll make sure, goofed that we that we do that. Here, why don't we an why don't we answer right. three more, three and more. then I'll open right. up the game three and we'll, we'll and then force we'll us to move along. Anything to use about Ivy Road game? Uh, so Ivy Road. Darknet's is... really excited about it. Oh, is he? He's asked me multiple times. Okay. Dark Darknet helps me with programming stuff amongst <laughs> other things. Really likes Ivy Road. So, 
I'm I'm an idiot, which so I have two projects that I have been working on. Um, Ivy Road is like my my kind of nine to five, and then I've been working on Stanley Parable in my evenings and weekends. Um, and uh, so Ivy Road is uh, the the other company that I've I've been um, running, and uh, we are working on a thing uh, on a new game, and uh, there's nothing that I can really tease because like. I'm trying to think of, of like what would be a, if there's something about it. It's in 3D? You discovered the secret gaming <laughs> word, 3D. <laughs> I didn't. I actually did not think 3D would be said at any point. <laughs> the seventh T of game design is tinnitus. <laughs> 3D tinnitus. Uh, okay. How many words is that, chat, that you've discovered? That one worked. That was all dark nut. Asking how... That's four. That's three. Unity, engine, and 3D. You've gotten. Great job. Okay. We got two more questions before we get into the game. Would you rather do lighter games like Stanley Parable or serious games like Beginner's Guide? Or do you prefer a mix of both? I really love your games. That's a good question. Ooh. Ooh. This question hits in my... You discovered the secret gaming word. Mission. Woo-woo-woo-woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo? Woo, 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 woo. woo? Okay, this is less hard than I thought. Woo-woo? Because woo? Just kinda just your mission. software is not very good, so it... <laughs> um... I heard an M sound. We'll give a mission. Yeah, we'll give him. Why not? Um, yeah, this is uh, this is actually a really tough question. Uh, I think the answer is, yeah, a, a mixture. Um, I, uh, you know, they're they're both important to me, and I think if I think going back and forth between something that is you know like just kind of funny and something that is is i mean even in stanley parable there's a lot of going back and forth between funnier things and darker things but yeah that makes I, sense. yeah i think as a game generally i think I, I do need to be able to go back and forth um you know and, and to other I, I mean it's it's a little it's a little bit of like going from game to game making one thing that's more on the lighter side and maybe one thing that's darker but then even within the games themselves i hope to find a kind of back and forth that uh, like a balance that um, that feels I don't know I don't I don't really like when a thing has just one tone to it I think yeah. I, I'll get bored basically um, and it's not it's not so much that there's an intentional a, a, an intentional trajectory of I need to do this and then this and then this and then this it's just more like after I've made a thing I'm bored of that tone yeah and I just need to do a different thing yeah and so it's it's just moving to a different place and then making the next thing and then moving to a different place and then making the next thing like i i'm i'm sure that having made beginner's guide and m made stanley parable ultra deluxe probably just made it more funny because i was like okay i kind of got that out of my system now i now i just want to you know make something it's just just like okay the the previous thing i've done means i'm just trying to find something that will feel different and compelling to me you know, and then probably because I've gotten a lot of comedy out of my system with Stanley Parable, now I, I think I'm, you know, I'm like, okay, cool. Now I want to, you know, explore something that's more kind of darker, I guess. Um, but so that's the teaser on Ivy Road. It's depressing. Yeah. No comedy. The comedy was all no spent. No comedy. <clears throat> no, but you, that's only, you get ten comedy dollars every, <laughs> every year. But that's actually the thing is that there is a lot of comedy in it. There's another little teaser for you. There is a lot of comedy in it, but I think that. I think that uh, I don't I don't consider it a comedy game necessarily. Yeah. You know, I just it's fun to be able to explore different things at the same time. T oh, okay, gotcha. TTS is off. Yeah, Texas Speech is off, y'all. Sorry, it would be uh, not possible to have a conversation at all um, with Texas Speech, but we will read as much as we can from chat. <clears throat> but I yeah, your your chat is like it, it's. So wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let what? me play the music. Before you say that word, okay. Your chat is like. What did you think I was gonna say? I don't know something dramatic. I thought you were gonna like evaluate how kind of how they are as people in one sort of 
very impactful phrase. So I was just letting it build up. Okay. All right. Let's yeah. do it. <clears throat> Everybody's waiting. All right. The eighth T. <laughs> it's Nephilim. It's the eighth T. That's the eighth one there. <laughs> Game design. Uh, all right. Should we play? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, oh, wait yeah, one, yeah, one more. more. One more. Unrelated, well, there's a lot more, but well, we'll right. do one the, more. Okay. This is the one for now. Unrelated from games. Ubu. Unrelated to game sign. Uh, game design. If you had, uh, uh, want to waste money, if you watch Severance on Apple TV. I. When Severance, came, I have like a Stanley Parable Google alert that sends me things like the week severance came out it was just like wait is it legitimately inspired by it okay or so it i mentioned did, it or something well so I, it, I don't know anything it, about it, it. it there there are tonal there are tonal uh, sorry real 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 quick yeah. Ain't the one. <laughs> i'm trying to answer Thank you. i'm trying to answer questions over here sorry. oh wait who did the thing eighth oh, wine eighth of wine with the ten bucks <laughs> <laughs> um it's like tonally similar because it's about like war office workplace dark satire. Oh, okay. Um, but but apparently the the uh, just show stayed up to five a.m. finishing your game. Thanks, Davey. Smile. Oh, oops. Who who got through the the disabled <laughs> the great filter? <laughs> this is the great filter. Who got, oh, it was who, oh, it was donations. Who got it through? Myself. Oh, okay. It's if you do it through PayPal. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much to whoever that was. Who was that? I don't know. It's some. It's mixed somewhere in Jesus, all, take the wheel. all of this. Okay. Well, thank you. To I'm. Can I just say that uh, the new Stanley Parable was there was a lot of work went into it from me and from everyone at Crows, 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 and it was it was a very it was very difficult and also it was very difficult to try to follow up a game that is you know that we all know is uh, that we know is is very well loved by a lot of people. And uh, so, you know, I've been kind of browsing some of the responses to it over the last few days. And, and you know, I just, when 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 people do have, a, you know, did have fond memories of the original and, and, you know, telling me something like, hey, you know, me and my brother were up till 5 a.m. playing it, like, it's really meaningful for me just to know that, you know, it captured that feeling for, for people that maybe they had uh, from the original. Like, I, I told you about the, the, the image someone sent to me of, of Anton Ego from Ratatouille the image of him eating Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe and it and in the image he goes to himself as a kid eating the original Stanley Parable and things like that where it's like oh you know you got me to feel that way that I felt back then and it you know th that it's if, if it if it was as good for people as, as that one was it's just really special for me so thank you for you know for all those of you who uh um if if you know uh for anyone who who, who was able to have uh, an experience with the new one that that you know was was uh was was as good as the original then uh, then i really appreciate that so thank you very much um that do does mean a lot because it was really hard and uh it was really hard to make this game and and uh, you know took a lot of i don't know sticking through a lot of doubt and uncertainty and everything <coughs> so um especially because your own brother didn't even play it <clears throat> can you believe he hasn't even played um, okay, sorry, the question was about Severance, and, uh, the, yeah, the, the, uh, the showrunner of Severance Jesus, did at, the wheel. <laughs> at one point say that, like, he listed a bunch of inspirations, but Stanley Parable was one of the inspirations that That's he, cool. he listed. Yeah. Man, have you actually watched this? Dude, have you watched everything ed everywhere all at once? I need, no, no, I'm, I'm going, oh. like, I, I know, I know, I know, oh. no, 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 I know, I know, I know. I had COVID, so I couldn't go out to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, it was like a week ago, right? Two weeks ago? It was a month ago. Oh, okay. It was a month ago. All right. Well, um, I, everybody's learned a lot about game design, right? All right. Uh, please recap we some of what you've learned in the chat. Go. Davey will review while I boot up the Stanley Parable. All right. <clears throat> We're going to discuss this pop quiz. All right. Unity. Unreal. Dance Frog. Dance Frog. Dance Frog. Dance Frog. Dance Frog, Dance Frog, Tinnitus, Dance Frog, Outsource, Dance Frog, Texas, Dance Frog, Dance Frog, uh, T, Dance Frog, Depression, 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 Dance Frog, Tinnitus, I say Dance yes, Frog, right? yes. 
Uh, circumcised. Dance frog. <laughs> okay. Do I really need to do this? Why would we put it there if you didn't need to do it? <laughs> yeah. that, that, fuck that's, you. That's a ninth T. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the ninth T is fuck you, Doug. <laughs> oh, what time is it? All right. 12. Oh, you can't. Why don't they have an AM PM slider? Just click. What did the you do? Hours. Oh, my click God. Hours. Unbelievable. Jesus Christ. You don't get my art. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. 12.58 p.m. No, it's now a.m. What do I do? Oh, no. You can always lie. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, again, I, I have not played this before, and we've, we'll figure we'll kind of go through sections uh, at a time. I'm just playing blind, and then uh, we'll stop after different sections, and you guys can review what game design you learned uh, from Davey. I did play the original back in 2013, but I have not played uh, this since then. And he hated it. <laughs> he called me up. Crying. The worst game. Sobbing. It's the worst game I've ever played. Oh, this is my voice in the uh, menu. Oh, really? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You're the uh, typewriter? Yeah, I'm the typewriter. <laughs> Oh yeah, I showed them the Tonight Millions Will Die video. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even <laughs> okay. say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. In case it's not clear, you are Stanley. <laughs> I just, you know. Stanley's the ninth team. A lot of people do Stanley. no. Stanley. <laughs> no. No. Oh, sorry, sorry. Do not. Do not write that down. Do Jack. not write that down. If you wrote that down, burn the thing that you wrote it on. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. I wrote it on my what child. Could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I am curious. All I know is that so this is for, I guess for anybody who hasn't played the original Stanley Parable. Original came out in 2013. That was the last time I played it. And this is the new version that came out this week or five, whatever. Last week, this week. Um, and I know there's a bunch of new stuff, but I have no idea how it happens or how it gets to it other than I asked Davey if I would know, and he said you would know. You'll know. Okay. Like when the new content happens. You'll know. Also, how many times have you in your life do you estimate you have watched that intro? I mean, I could definitely say it for you word for word in the exact tone of voice. Yeah. Like in the exact intonation that he says. I don't know how many times, but it's enough that I can... Do it literally the inflection of every word and the pacing of, every, of all of it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, chat. By the way, before we, before we go any further, let me just say, 
Lyric is no longer streaming the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, which means that you are now the number one streamer of Ultra Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe on Twitch.tv. But before that, he was the number one streamer. Fuck. Yeah. Shocked you stayed around. Okay. I don't intend for this to be a choose-your-own-adventure game. I'm the main character. I'm playing the Stanley Parable, but I will take your advice for this first one. Okay, we're going right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <laughs> Good room. It's a good room. It's a nice room. Is it coffee? Okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right, I think I know what chat wants. We'll keep disobeying. Man, I don't, I basically remember nothing. Stanley this was so great. bad at following directions, it's <laughs> incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Well, I realize that investing your trust in someone else can yeah, be but difficult, but the fact is that the story has been the, about nothing but you crossbow. all this time. Oh, oh missed. okay. <laughs> Stanley's right, well. eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. All of his co-workers were gone. What well, could it mean? Uh, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. While he's getting back there, I'll take a question, a game design question. Uh, CS, we're, we're, oh, I guess there's no way to. Oh, they're over here. Yeah, because they're over there. But I can't click them off without your mouse. But oh yeah, yeah. But well, you can well, keep yeah. going back. Has when there Stanley been any came to a to set of two open ending? doors, he entered the door uh, on his left. This was not the correct way to the if meeting I were to room, and that Stanley question, knew honestly, it perfectly well. Perhaps he Doug wanted Doug. to stop by the employee so, lounge like first, just to admire it. Here, I'll refund your money. <laughs> okay. You're more generous to these wow. people than I would. Wow. Yes, this room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank you. I can't see. Ryan C, thank you so much for the 12 months. Ryan C with the 12 months. You see his question? So much. What, was there a question? Is Stanley divorced? Is Stanley divorced? Canonically. Canonically, thank Stanley goodness Stanley, Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, I'm going for cross er, uh, cro catwalk? Catwalk, I catwalk, think. yeah. Stanley was so bad at following oh, directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> like, they're really, they're really, uh, like this is, I've, you, I've said a lot of really mean things to both you and your chat throughout the course of this stream so far, but Stanley being married has elicited by far the most, and like, you seemed relatable up to this point, and it turns out it's one of them. Stan yeah, I thought we knew, I thought we could relate to Stanley. someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Yeah, walk up that Someone right, you right. forgot. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. A uh, couple of people saying that it sounds like the game is too loud for us. Oh, okay. for, our, for our voice, you can go That makes the... sense. Yeah, main volume. Like 75. Alright, let me know if um if it's still too loud. Is the narrator divorced? Is the narrator divorced? The narr here, alright, I'll tell you this. And this is canonical. You can 
All right, this is coming from the writer of the Stanley Parable. The narrator himself is the platonic ideal of divorce. He is the concept of divorce. <laughs> like, he is literally the concept of divorce. That is who is speaking to you throughout this game. There's just sort of this big black ether in he, the sky right. that you, you submit emails to and say, send me voiceover. Whenever two people get divorced, the narrator is, carefully, this is manifesting it. Stanley walked through the red door. Chat. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> properly. Stanley walked through the red door. God, Kevin is so freaking good. I know. It's crazy. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. Did I tell you that on the mod, you want to know so did badly what's out there? Intake. You want to find out wow, what lies in this just, road you've the script, chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. And then he just sends you. me a single file. Like, two days later, he just sends me a single wave file. That's just every line in the game, and I just put it in the game. That was it. Do you know how, how long, do you remember how long it was? The file, like yeah, how long? like the length, like what was what was the entire I think it was game an being hour read? Hour or something? Oh my god! Yeah, absurd. The game is still too loud. All right, all right. You can also turn. I mean, well, it probably just mean volume is fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. I assume it's balanced around that. Wait. Yeah. Sixty-nine. God. <laughs> you see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map. Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new... God, you guys. ...design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Doing it. Man, I, yeah, I don't remember any of this. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. I, not I'm at all. To stop you there. I mean, now, vague kind of conceptual. Did you, do the, did you play the BB version? Yeah, I, play, I played all of it. Okay, you did. But it's, okay, it's just been, yeah, it's been nine years or whatever. Free to be Eight honest. years. I'm looking did, for some real yeah. critical feedback here. Did you get to where it goes? So you, so you remember where it goes, like Minecraft and Portal and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, again, just like I remember that that happened, but none of the details at this right. point, really. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's the tenth T of game design is third in your door. Gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. Let's get a cup of water. You can't teach yep. that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Whoa. Oh, I remember this. Good old Neil. <laughs> These are all like William's Steam friends. <laughs> Okay, is this, this is where it was, right? Yeah. Yeah, third door. Third door, baby. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Does he say what, like, one or five means? Or is it just... I don't think he did, right? Um... Hey, I, I thought it was obvious what one to five means. Of a new <laughs> sure. Working on. You know? Now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. 
And if he reaches the fire, you fail. I do not get it's data on how many people game. click each All about number. the desperation no. and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I have an idea. Yeah. I did set up Twitch plays code. We oh. could just we could just leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's, hey, let's, well, it's been fun, everyone. Um, all right, you guys try to keep the baby alive, chat. <clears throat> um, to be clear, left click will click the button, and you'll be able to keep the baby alive. You can also look up and down and move around, but left click or click. That's how you can save the baby. Ready? Go! <laughs> Instantly. Instantly, no. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Great. You did it. You because did it. The latter, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. <laughs> I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Aha! Fascinating. This is new, what right? This, this game is about. That's, whoa, that's cool. What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Did you ever play Firewatch? Well, it I seems did. obvious yeah. Yeah, yeah. to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians <laughs> below you from up high in your creep tower. That's kind of a deep reference. Sort of I don't know how common this game is. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture <laughs> to the experience that's of funny. total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Wow. Did you get the actual game at? This looks yeah. like the game. This is the game. Jesus. This is the actual game. Oh, no. no, 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 no. It it's can't one be. aspect of being in Unity. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> oh, I see a gap. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. I can get there. No, oh, you can't get Fuck. there. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. <laughs> there you go. Stan, this is the third, the eleventh T of game, game design. Phenomenally impressed. This. Can okay, I get a so this exactly in chat, do do please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're picking there are lots it up. Of cars here in the back, but obviously uh, did you ever no consider asking the developers okay, if you I'm seeing that there's a could ball put the entire game? Back here? Like, like, hey, could we put Rocket League Rock in the game Stanley. at this point? So the thing ball. is oh, with this fun. is that run the bases and do a Rocket League is made together. in Unreal. Yes. This is actually like a weirdly lot amount of game actual game development we've talked about here. So Rocket League is made in Unreal. This game is made in Unity. Um, so, <laughs> so to actually put the cars and everything in would have been a lot. Um, so the uh, the developers at Psyonix sent us the assets Are you for doing it? 
Are you winning? The ball Is this and the fun? arena and everything, but none of it was set up for real so or on? for unity. Stanley, I have a thought, um, and I and realize so I'm not a sportsologist. We had to get someone to spend like a couple weeks just literally rehooking up everything then for all of these assets into unity just to get it to work, euphoric, like just to get it to look like this. Jeez. I'm yeah. To try it out. Here comes another ball. You know, I, I just realized I was not actually yes. intending oh, goodness, that really on using Twitch amazing, chat plays. Doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery how, shop. How long I do we have? have, like, have more. This is going to take us so long. I'm insane. All right, chat. If you go forward. More balls. <laughs> this is like the best opportunity you have to ever have beaten a game, chat. This actually is the perfect Twitch chat, like, <laughs> yeah, it's just, first person The narrator game. is like, even we, talking as though it's to them. We literally <laughs> designed it for idiots, you know. <laughs> well, I sure hope you're having a good time, because guess what? It's over. Oh my god, that deck could go. Oh, oh chat, it's over. Comes to an end. It feels like this the narrator is, is talking to Twitch chat. I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I'm structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you'd like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. You know, if you think about it, you are the boundary setter for your Twitch chat. They're nothing without you. Do you ever think about that? Do you ever think about that? That? That is the 12th T of game design. <laughs> this and that. Oh. Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> Can I get a that in the chat? Thank Stanley, you, everyone. That. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Ooh. Uh, I saw a question about getting Firewatch and Rocket League. We just spoke to the developers, and they were um, very happy to send us assets. And that was it. Very generous people at both uh, Campo Santo slash Valve and, um, uh, and Psyonix. Thank you very much to them for letting us do this. This here, um, and again... I want to shout out the word this for being the 11th T of game design. This is the original Stanley Parable Half-Life 2 mod from 2011. Oh. That's what this is. I did not realize that. Yep. I suspect a lot of people did not realize that. Yeah, I know. It's it's a real deep cut. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how most people feel when they get to this spot, if they actually know what this is or not. But it, it definitely, you know, got a couple I realized in chat. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Um... That was an ending. I did it. How would you rate me in terms of skill-based gameplay? One. <laughs> well, you didn't tell me what the rating system means. That's right. Could mean anything. One what out of, on a scale gone. of zero what to could point it mean? zero one. To go to the meeting <laughs> you room. scored a Perhaps one. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. I have, I my, I have my eye out for new content. Keep, keep, 
keep a big ol' eye. Saw a uh, question about back rooms. It's so funny because, like, now I, I see all these, uh, like, since since um, Ultra Deluxe came out, I've seen all these comments when about Stanley back rooms. Came to a set of it's two like, open back doors, rooms was not a thing the door until a few years left. ago. And I missed it. I missed the whole back This was not thing, the correct completely. way to the meeting room. And, and then suddenly everyone is well. like, back rooms, back Perhaps rooms, back rooms. Perhaps wanted to stop by the employee lounge okay. first, just cool. to admire it. What yeah. back room? It's like this, um... It's like a, you know, SCP? Uh... The, uh, the, 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 like, creepypasta kind of... It's like a 4 chan -y sort of creepypasta thing where they have all the, you know, the was sublime. with, like, a work that, of these art. weird what yellow was it room, about this room, like, hallways that, 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 so that just lead in and circles. So gotcha. to stand anyway, it's know. grace, it's, whole thing. it's and, subtle uh, charm. No. Stanley knew it was something deeper. Something... Darker. Yeah, so I now suddenly I'm seeing all these but references to, to back rooms. Back to business, and it's Stanley like, took the okay, first open cool. door on his left. I guess. Sure. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back Turn to the office. Up. He wanted to wander about and get even further get off side. track. Yeah. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go. Um. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm less, hopefully, less quiet now. Tell, um, tell me if I'm, tell left. me if I'm the correct volume. No. Can I just yell everything I say? That's another option for sure. Oh, Better. No. Perfect. No, Good. it's to the right. Good? mistake. I'm inevitably going to forget this because, no, like, I don't, no, no, you know, no, not the right. I feel like part Why of being a content creator is it was about right rem to, having this thing jammed Remember, in yeah, stick, sticking, clearly... sticking this in your mouth. Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. What yeah, it's weird. I Unconsciously, when I turned you, I know to talk down. louder, for example. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. All of his oh. co-workers were gone. Uh, what could it mean? Stanley you, you, decided you to go to the meeting keep, room. Keep going. Perhaps he had simply still missed a, thing a memo. Going on right now. Um, I did get a message from uh, from Dom on uh, uh, who is who is the art director on Ultra Deluxe uh, about in response to the questions about um, oh. Unity. Yeah, I would say you should just keep playing because okay. this is going to go on for a bit. Yeah, because um, you're you're now you're in a whole thing. All right, because uh, now it's wait, yeah what? yeah I don't mean no, to like no, I don't know is it weird that I'm I don't like know. don't worry about this section over, yeah no I have I have remember it so it's like, yeah be... here I'll turn this down a little bit because right uh, because oh, you know <laughs> like right I know that you're in the middle of like a whole thing where it's like yeah it's just gonna go into it okay monitors. so uh, Dom is. Wait, what's Hold all the 420? 69? Oh, the volume. It's probably the volume was, was something. Right I don't know. If it appears, then that'll set everybody off for 10 somewhere. straight minutes. Oh, door 420. I oh, see. Oh, nice. That's good catch, are. guys. Oh, okay. Hey, gay, <laughs> gay. <laughs> let's let's do it good. Good good job, everyone. Um, okay, so Dom is the uh, art director at Crows, 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 who, uh, who, who developed Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Um, and uh, so he wrote me uh, a note about uh, questions about the engine. So he says uh, about Unity porting. Lighting and colors. We had to relight everything. Unity's tools are way more sophisticated than source, so we I'll had to dial back light, uh, dial back light bounces and effects you, to capture that source mood. I color before. corrected the hell out of it for hours and hours to align it with the original. Uh, 
shaders and shaders for those who don't know are the um, the code that deal with how uh, things look on 3d surfaces in the game wait sorry what what do you say again shaders one more time shaders shader 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 you discovered the secret you discovered the secret gaming word you said it. It it counts. <laughs> I did say it. I literally said it. All right. Okay. Sorry. I know you were in the middle of a thing. You don't mean me inter my yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. We're good. Uh, shaders, all made from scratch. We added nicer reflections, too, but we had to make sure it doesn't look too different from the 2013 version. New content. For new bits, we tried to work within source engine limitations to make it as seamless as possible. Similarly, we did a ton of audio processing on Kevin, this is the narrator, so people didn't catch the nine year difference. I was gonna ask actually. Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. No, so all the original content is all, like these lines are all exactly the same lines yeah, as from. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people can't even tell, uh, can't even tell if, if it's not still source. I think we did a good job. TLDR, huge pain in the ass. So there's the question for the person who asked that like an hour ago. If you're still here, there you go. That's what I like to do with my stream. What well, nice slow burn. Yeah. I mean, okay. we get. I can it's answer worse. another one of I your game design questions. Bam. Hi, Davey Reedon, who is the brother the of the large bad. streamer well, called Doug Doug, from. real name being Douglas Scott Reedon. Direction. You are mostly it's known for making anything. the hit game, The Stanley Parable, with William Pugh, and is involved with making The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe with game devs Crow Crow Crow, which is a reimagining of The Stanley Parable with new content and better graphics. And I want to know, how are you feeling today? The context was important there. Terrific. Feeling terrific. That was another hour long burn he had to wait for. <laughs> what do you think of Doug's bald head? I love it. Did you know this is true? Doug was bald for the first 13 years of his life. <laughs> this, is, this, is actually, no, this is actually true. <laughs> They're like, gonna, this they, are, they think I'm bald, really. No, it's actually literally true. Yeah. He, like, it was really weird. <laughs> we, we, had, like, all these con it we had all these conversations I about it. You know, there was a lot of like. <laughs> But then he started growing hair when he was 13. No, wait, when I hit puberty. Yeah, he hit puberty and his hair started okay, growing in on the top. The and <laughs> I could actually retract it from my armpits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's born with armpit and pube hair, but no head hair. There's and a set it, amount of hair that kind moved, of switches. It yeah. <laughs> shifted up his body. Uh, we should get into. Uh, I like. Uh, do you? No, I, I assume your chat well, wants to know childhood stories about. I mean, I don't. About, I'm not going to assume that. So. <laughs> you can. Oh, I think that's a fair assumption. Uh, chat, if you, if that's what you want, can I get a that hmm. in in <laughs> chat? You You're the worst streamer. Since I've completed that, I'm hearing that. Doing, I'm seeing a lot of that. You win. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. What's a good story? What's a good story about what's a good childhood story? I don't have any. I remember I was like pretty cool. I was doing like drugs and doing a lot of drugs. I remember there was like I remember when I went football. Too bald because of the depression from, from being bald. <laughs> So you're so bald you turned to drugs. <laughs> you remember that one time I got I got the touchdown and everybody was cheering? I'm getting weirded out by whatever. And there was like sex or something. And that's <laughs> That's when your hair started to come back. Yeah. You won the championship so hard that your hair began to grow in. <laughs> All right. I've got a solution. It's the Stanley Parable time, Adventure make Line. Sure we don't get lost. I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Oh, okay. Here's a story. This actually is a good one. Okay. Okay. This is a true story. This is actually a real one. Okay. So, okay. So we were, I want to say I was like 10 or something like that. And oh, sorry. I thought it was related to <laughs> Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep playing. Keep playing. Okay, keep playing okay, the game. Okay. Keep playing the game. I thought we you were going to reveal something about the adventure line. Or maybe, is it related? No. Okay. No. Not all at right. all. all right. Not at all. Uh, not even, not even a little bit. <laughs> No. 
Um, okay. So I think I was like, I think I was 10. So you would have been seven or something like that. Yeah. And so, so I remember, so, so we sit down to dinner. It's like, okay, it's dinner time. And we all sit down to dinner and it's me and mom and dad and Jay. We sit down to dinner, but, but Doug's not there. And, you know, like, we call back to the back of the house, hey, you know, dinner, come on out, still not still not coming out, right? And so it's like, okay, it's getting a little, like, where is Doug, right? And so maybe, like, I don't know, five, ten minutes, like, we're waiting, and Doug finally comes out, He's he finally comes out into the kitchen, into the area, and he's holding, in each hand, he's holding his own shit, <laughs> And this is not true. and he yells, "I'm!" And he yells, "No, I swear to God, this is 100 percent true. It's 100 percent true." true. He yells, "I'm the shit king. I'm the king of shit. I can There's eat. No I can eat shit this. for day." And he starts eating, shoveling his own feces into his mouth, and just eat, eating it, eating it, eating it. And he's like, "It's it's so good. I'll eat it forever because I am the king of poop." It was wild <laughs> all of us were like what the fuck just happened it was like we talked about that for a long time <sighs> i yeah. need to stream with mom and dad and <laughs> I, need, I need counterbalancing these stories Got the music if mom, if mom or dad want to text me to confirm the veracity of the, of the I'm the shit king story. Sure, you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Would I have grabbed it out of the toilet? Would I have I don't know. You the one who did it. I wasn't there, okay, when you were doing it. I don't know how. how what are the mechanics of how I would have done? There's a loophole in this story that it, there's there's cracks. Okay. Wait. What, Very thematic the to the adventure line. No, 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 line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable. Sorry, I hope I didn't just introduce some new lore into your channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 not again, line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, is that everything is the fired through, one four two seven? No, no, that's not four two. Four he is four two seven is. Uh, oh, there it, is. it is actually his. Uh, the the image of him is actually his his thing. You know what, Stanley? I oh. say forget oh. the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people. I literally, I literally just got a text from Mom. Okay. What's it say? It says, it's true. He, it's all true. No, no, no. It's not. What she says, you're full of shit. Yes! One for me. One to one. I think she was talking about you. Oh, <laughs> in, right, right. In terms like how, of at that moment, how, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like literally, poop. literally <laughs> yeah. had poop in him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So thank you, mom, for mom. You could have clarified a little. No, yeah, I this is should have you made because because the, the, the way the way the way that you said it, you made it sound like I was the one who was lying about the story. You know, mom. So you're a doctor. Send us an analysis of how much shit is in each one of us right now. Yeah, according to doctors, how much poop can a person eat? <laughs> mom, text it over. All right. There's too much confusion now because of you. Whoa. Doctors just make everything harder, you know? Right when I think I've got all this shit figured out. Oh, no, not you again. <laughs> I do love it. I know. This, this is, from the I, I love this so much. Like, this awesome this bit story. here where the line comes no in. Lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We got shader. Hey, that's a shader. Can we get a that in the chat? <laughs> I can't believe we got shader, to be honestly though. Like <laughs> some of these words I I didn't think we're gonna Nobody's unlocked a business word yet. It's, it's we haven't been focusing on business. We've been focusing on game design. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the Everyone in chat is just saying fact, words, but the, 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 here, critically, you don't, I have to say it, okay. right? Like, that's so the I thing. So, each door so you, to you have to which somehow coerce me into saying one of these words. Like, if I just said the word stocks, I would try to discover the secret business word. Stocks. 
boring. It's like there's, there's only ten of them. <laughs> there's, only, <laughs> there's only ten business work. Yeah, how do you nail that? Stocks. That's not a part of games. <laughs> how is that part of a game? How's well, that? I don't. I'm not a game designer. It's, no, I'm here to learn too. Yeah, I'm also true. part of the class. That's true. I guess it's. I guess it's up to me to figure out how stocks are relevant to game design. <laughs> huh? Look, why don't you? Um, yeah. Why don't you try to fish for one of the business words with this question? Okay. Should I order Burger King or McDonald? <laughs> well, <laughs> what we know about economics <laughs> is that. The, no, I didn't put economics in the there. The money, not... the money that we transfer to Burger King is more than the revenue that McDonald's makes from. You discovered the secret <laughs> business word, revenue. McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish if it was McDonald's. <laughs> if it was McDonald's, that would have been awesome. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> great. A smart question here. Smart really great. Question. Really, Digging really good question. Advice. That guy has an MBA. <laughs> McDonald. That guy invented the MBA. Which one did you, I don't even remember? What did What did you say? I don't. This doesn't give me any context for what you said. <laughs> revenue. 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 Okay. All right. Revenue. How many is that? You chat? discovered the secret business word, revenue. Okay. McDonald's. That's like six. That's seven secret words you've discovered out of twenty-five. I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, McDonald's Burger Associate. That's exactly what he was referring to. Yeah, I want to hit this one. I'm curious. Okay. Stanley, I am curious. Keep playing the game, though. Keep playing the game. Okay. Stanley Parable is one of the most confusing and thought-provoking games I've ever played with very strange rules. So what made you decide the of the name Let Stanley Parable we'll instead of the, the Stanley Paradox? Um, the answer is clearly yes, yeah. I mean, this this the right decision the came one. over a decade ago. Uh, where did the Stanley, name Stanley Parable came from? I... Oh, more than a decade. More than more like than a decade. Thirteen years, yeah, right? Eleven, something like that. Wasn't the original twenty ten? No, it was twenty eleven. Oh, but okay. I mean, I wrote it, you know, earlier than that. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, the name, oh, like, this? none of it. I, I there was no, there was so little thought that went into it. It was literally just like is. Stanley is a guy. Just anything. sounds like a kind of a supposed to restart dorky game? guy who Eight doesn't have anything going times? for him, and. Really like I lit the, I was the the thinking of it's about parable determined? had nothing to do with so now, according to the schedule, actual parables again. of yeah, anything. It was literally just like that's just a forget. word that sounds okay. Well, what if yeah, I there. Um, it I'm reminds. I I, I watched a uh, retrospective on the guys who made Mist, right? Yeah, and well, like the original Mist. Yeah, 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 the original Mist. And they were talking about how when they were naming the game. Is it really th they they spent like thirty seconds be, naming Mist. They're just like, what about Mist? Yeah, sure, right? And you know, of course, then Mist is on. like this landmark game. Like this. And and then when they were the making the sequel, Riven, apparently that was like a six it. month <laughs> slog <laughs> to name uh, to name Riven, where like they would try a thousand million things, you know, to name Riven. That's exactly well, and I. Kind of went through that with know. Beginner's Guide, trying to name Beginner's Guide, and first. like well, definitely, happened. I related to the uh, Mist story. So, okay, Beginner's Guide is a great name. Didn't you like you like? I guess now. Oh, that, that was wait. that was another. That was you also know, like six months I of yeah. logging way, through names. But that I think the effort story, translated into something interesting, I'm which is like because sure like nobody used that name before, right? Of like just the Beginner's Guide. Well, that's I was curious. Like I googled it. So I, I just googled beginner's guide right to see what now. came up well, and there were a lot of results but eventually. every result was a different result well, in the meantime, like there was no coherent beginner's guide result you know what i mean <clears throat> i would hold on, say it again. like <laughs> every okay result. there's a lot of results for beginner's guide before i made the game but they were all for different things sure yeah yeah so not like a coherent just the yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah <clears throat> okay oh is that is that the end of confusion Yes, that's the okay, end of okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply... God, I do remember playing this originally, and you still, for a while after Confusion ending, are like... Yeah, I know. That, I was, the end of that was exactly what we wanted. Like, uh, yeah. like that was exactly the point. It was like, okay, make people think, you know, make it really unclear how long Confusion ending actually goes. I've been picking some... Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. <clears throat> oh. New content? What does that mean? New content. Yeah, this is 
This is what I meant by you will know. Okay, yeah. Crank it a bit. So the question at the beginning of have you played Stanley Parable before? If you select no, it just makes it longer. Until it takes longer that until that door appears. Okay. The chat's pretty excited. You're pogging. All right, chat. <laughs> the secret 13th T of game design is content. Write that down. Write down the fact that you wrote it down as well on a separate document. Yeah, if you ever, you know, just press the gold uh, button there and you can just kind of... Oh, shit, yeah. ...make anything you say. Can I, I'm going to try some of these out. Yeah. So this is, so it's, these are action, so these are action. Yeah. And then, uh, and then these are like loud finale, so you know, you want like... But then always have the victory song in there, so that it's always available. In case something happens, okay. you've got sad, uh, smooth jazz. We're gonna get a lot of use out of smooth jazz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, upbeat is six different categories with just like background stuff. Hell yeah. Okay. Anyway, this this audio. All right, I'm about to get some use out of this audio out of this stream yeah, deck. Yeah, go wild. All right, so and then you can co cover up your own game and replace it with smooth jazz if you press please hold. Can I get some dance frogs in chat? <laughs> you have Let's... to press stop at some point. I mean, don't, I guess. Let, let, I can keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's get a few dance frogs in chat and then, <laughs> then we'll move, and then, and then we'll move on. All right. We're good on hold. It looks like for a lot of people, Dance Frog isn't appearing. Make sure you have the Dance Frog extension installed on Chrome, because otherwise, it's just going to look like people are just spamming Dance Frog. Yeah, for no reason. right, right, right. Ooh, ooh, new content. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, The Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting <laughs> new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. Hmm? This is, uh, that, that voice was Alex Hirsch, the creator of Gravity Falls. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm very excited to see. You just like found him on the street or something? Or? Yeah, finally give him an opportunity. This this game is what got him his foot in the door to make Gravity, Gravity Falls. Falls. Yeah, yeah. The thrilling new ultra deluxe content. <laughs> just crazy because nobody knew about that until a few seconds ago when you revealed it. I know. <clears throat> okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Man, I was um, in Elden Ring. A friend of mine like played for the first time. This is the first Dark uh, Elden or uh, Soulsborne game, and just missed the tutorial area. Yeah, did you see they added a new uh, like a sign? Yeah, screen like a or sign. something. Yeah, is it you could have done something similar. Like, there's a hole. Apparently, in the beta, so like, well, in the final version, there's a ghost pointing down into the hole, saying maybe you should go down there. Yeah, and apparently, in the beta, that that ghost didn't exist oh my god <laughs> and and because they noticed people were missing the hole so they added the ghost saying go down there and then even fewer people went in the hole because they didn't trust the ghost oh my god so they had to add an actual ui saying no we're not fucking around go down the goddamn hole yeah yeah this i mean he he like quit because he was like yeah i just don't know what's going on in the game and i was like yeah and then i realized he didn't know how to uh how to roll <laughs> yeah, like, yeah yeah yeah, and yeah i was yeah. like wait did you play the tutorial and he's like no yeah um yeah. Did did you consider putting a ghost pointing at the new content door? Uh, 
we put the ghost. We, we put the ghost in, but then everyone skipped the new content door because they, <laughs> they didn't, didn't trust, trust the ghost. ghost yeah. yeah, they didn't trust the ghost. What's going on here? Should we? Yeah, ironically, if the narrator had said new content, go this way. Yeah, nobody would have gone in. Right. Should we be moving somewhere? Or, or... Oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. What do you think the new content is going to be? Uh, I guess Overwatch mm. Two. Mm. Like that all the sequels sick. to the games that weren't that popular in the first one. It just launches. It just boots Overwatch <laughs> Two. <laughs> that would be sick. It's as if the. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. No, there are new controls. Yo, can I get some dance frogs in chat? <laughs> hang on. Yeah, let me, yeah. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Let me do this. Let me do this. Wait. No, you're gonna want an action. Up. You're gonna want an oh, action. action. Yeah. Pick oh, one of your action yeah, songs. Yeah. 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 Uh. Can I get some dance frogs? It's crazy too. This is built into the game. Because the license for Pepsi actually expired. And so Stanley Parable bought it. Put it in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just can't jump it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Is is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Did you consider having it end there? <laughs> that would like, be very funny. Like, oh man, that would be very funny. Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, <laughs> now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh wait, there's more. Very good, yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Chair chat. Chat's pretty excited about chairs. Can I get a chair in the <laughs> chat? <laughs> That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video <laughs> game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, <laughs> Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? That's it. That's all there is. It's the new content. That's the new content. It's the stream. Wait, there's more? Pew. Psst. Stanley, <laughs> come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Oh, you just for fun, just walk over back, walk, walk up that way a yeah. little bit. Just don't go through the, don't go all the way through the door, but yeah. just kind of go over there. Oh, you don't want to see the cool surprise I made for you? Well, fine. You're a dork anyway, so who cares? All right, now go back through the, through the thing. Mean. I know. Oh, never mind. You're not a dork. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he says it with such vitriol. <laughs> it's the like, lamest word. 
I think definitely a, a unique pleasure of writing this game is writing was writing words and then thinking Kevin is gonna have to say that <laughs> like there's there's a lot of times where writing this was like oh man you know I'm gonna have to like I'm gonna send this to Kevin and he's gonna have to say that whatever whatever I put down what uh was there are there lines where he like wrote back and was like how am I going to say this? Or no, he, never. He just sends it back. Never. He just always does it. Yeah. He did add okay. his own things into it every now and then. Like, he usually would swear. He would usually add, like, swears <laughs> into the script, and then we would edit them out. So <laughs> Do we you like, remember an example? Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I do... I do from a thing you haven't seen yet. Mm, okay. So I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do that. Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be. Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. What do we get the R rated the, version? The swear DLC. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the same game, but just shit is inserted. What? I call it you would know a thing about inserting zone. shit, wouldn't you? It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013, when the game was ah, Back then, video games had integrity. I back think we then, all remember. It all meant some first kiss, my oh, first car. Yes. Release of Stanley Parable 2013. I re <laughs> Who is that guy? I don't even know who that is where, actually. Where do you Dom, if you want to mess if you want to message me and tell us who that guy is. Who is this guy? Someone named Stanley maybe? <laughs> that was the box edition that we made. Yeah. It's the IGF Audience Award we won. That's the BAFTA for The Last of Us, but <laughs> it says Stanley Parable. <laughs> <laughs> The original remake. Oh, right, right, right. Is that Twitch chat? No. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. Do you mess? Okay. We have updates. All right. We have updates from Dom, who, again, is the art director for Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Okay, so that guy is from a collection of vintage postcard scans that I found. I figured he probably remembers. <laughs> <laughs> there is logic. There is logic behind that. You look at that guy. You look at that guy, and you're like, that's a dude who was definitely around in 2013. That, that's not, actually. <laughs> Very much you not. Look at, you look at that, you're like, you're like, 2013 was ages ago, and so was that guy. So therefore, kind <laughs> of both, like generally, the past. yeah, yeah, in yeah, exactly. Before now, also again, games writer here. I'm just gonna say canonically that dude's name is Stanley, and he is married to that dog, and uh, they're getting divorced. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're working through their issues. It's not looking good. I I think you should find where he's buried. And insert a DVD copy of the Stanley Parable into yes, the dirt. Yes, right. At least the, to the dog's grave. Wait, what? <laughs> That's the first dollar we ever made. Gabe Newell personally gave that to me. Who? Gabe Newell. <laughs> you discovered the secret gaming word. Gabe Newell. <laughs> Woo! Gabe Newell! I was like, there's no way he's going to say Gabe Newell today. <laughs> so when you said it, I was like, okay, that has to count. That has to count. That, that was the one where I was like, this is this is not. It's why I made it 25 out of 30. Because they're like, Gabe Newell, it wasn't going to happen. Ugh. Such an idiot. Can't talk about video games without talking about Gabe Newell. <laughs> All right. Can I get a dance frog in the chat for Gabe Newell, please? <laughs> Gabe used to love Dance Frog. Man, Gabe 
Gabe was all about dance frog. He'd roll over in his grave he, if he saw us not Gabe, dance frogging. Gabe personally asked me to put dance frog into Stanley Parable. <laughs> Nominee British cat. Okay. These are all real, right? These are real. The award is for Last of Us, but the <laughs> nominations are real. Yeah. <laughs> but really, wouldn't you say the nomination is better than the award? Well, I wouldn't. I would. Wait, this is real? No. <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> you think Stanley Barrel's on the front page of the Los Angeles Times? You fucking idiot. <laughs> you keep mixing them together. I'm getting confused. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why would they print this? <laughs> There's so many other things happening in the world. Actually, there's actual music right now, so I should pause that. Oh, okay. Oh. You made you made impenetrable flowers. sweet <laughs> I love, I love this song. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this oh, sorry, stunning no triumph of games Cancer. journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art. Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Sterling does know about uh, the about the shout out. We we cleared it with them first. Yeah. The tasteful nostalgic. Wait, was there a thing? No. <laughs> it takes a lot of work. Keeping keeping this place up. <laughs> I saw a question, why not Persona 5? I mean, it was also Persona 5. That's also a game. Not Persona 6, though. Everything that came out up to the Stanley Parables release. Right. And then this game now incorporates everyone <laughs> yeah. going back. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need Nine out of ten content. being perfect yeah, in, say, in our definition of alone, perfect. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. It didn't say... It didn't say what nine out of ten was out of. <laughs> nine out of ten out of nine out of ten. I really need to clarify these ratings. Yeah, this is, I keep it's confused. very confusing. Why is there a bike? Prepare. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. That was from the Raphael video. <clears throat> oh, shit. Where, uh, where did I come? I'm blanking. I came from here. Yeah. Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Oh, shit. Oh, Wait. fuck. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? I don't actually know what's down here. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? 
this is uh this is cool to have a whole section that's just about the release of the game. Ooh, mm -hmm. I really. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Bug Livia? Funny. Not the actual I'm not name. Trying to no. be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the stand. <laughs> so you came up with bug the game is already such a I didn't. I think the profound philosophical I think Dom that I added can't even bug imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. But these are all actual Steam reviews, and people have now f found the the reviews, um, and like linked them, and I've seen people commenting on them now. Which is do, funny. Do you think I could pay Kevin Brighting? to say every word in the dictionary, and then I can turn his voice into a text-to-speech so that chat can speak with Kevin Brighting's voice for the rest of time. Well, I mean, that's that's just a real thing people do. Like, people turn their voices into vocaloids. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's a... What's your question? <laughs> yeah, you Your question that. is, does he take money for work? No. <laughs> He's very opposed to that. So what did you pay him in? Paid him in copies of the Stanley Parable. <laughs> <laughs> he eats them every night for dinner. Boils them in a soup. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy, Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. Yeah, I, someone I says always, voice well, actors, honest, a lot of voice actors aren't keen on it. That uh, makes perfect sense. You know, a lot of people with. probably don't want you can't know how much put, put them out of business the by <laughs> turn, <laughs> yeah, turning by turning their voice it. into a... Well, yeah, right. Did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. I will. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. I would be glad to pay to have Kevin Frog. <laughs> Damn it. I screwed it up. I would be glad to pay to have Kevin record Can I Get a Dance Frog in chat. <laughs> how much How much does he charge? A dollar an hour? <laughs> yeah, dollar, yeah, one dollar an hour, exactly. <laughs> What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's skip happening. Button. It's the whole... I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. <laughs> and here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you... <laughs> oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal <laughs> flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. <laughs> the minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. Has anybody? To be honest, I can don't you even know edit? One can I don't think you can edit your Steam space. review. I guess I should become better educated on exactly how Steam works. Perhaps that would have been the smart thing. <laughs> okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's is it actually? unendurable by any means, but it's... What well, do you mean, is it really actually? only so much I can ramble on to myself. Uh, I guess so, Tom. I know, it's shocking, isn't it? But at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. 
I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just... Wait, how do we get out of here? Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some <laughs> sort, or a window, or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently large crack? <laughs> Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there! I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer, and my god, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. Oh, Stanley! <laughs> You're back! Oh, my goodness! I have someone to talk to again. <laughs> Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. <laughs> or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. <laughs> just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. I think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't Stanley. It isn't the same at all. All right. Chat. You're calling this one. <laughs> it isn't even close. Because I Left know click you to click. can't hear me once Forward to move that forward. Button. That's what I'm realizing now. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh. Well, it's you. And you're here again. Well, They're never going to get I this. I have had time to think about you. And They're about never going to get about this. about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track oh. after a year. Have you gonna set them up down for in it? one place and not move for one entire year? Let okay. me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret all right, guys. for the longest Ready? time. Stanley. Days. Go. Months. I lost it all in a blur of the deep. No, <laughs> no, 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 this is not happening. No, no, this is you absolutely had one shot. Not. Yeah, one you had shot. one, you had one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, 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 we're done. I, I mean, it's, it's shockingly close. I know, that was much closer than I thought. In that instant, I could see myself clearly. Calmly, that you missed it. Collected heart. Okay. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and. All right, I'm calling it. We're just gonna be staring at this wall for a while. I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for what felt like an eternity. <laughs> oh, this is very good. One more. <laughs> but they didn't understand the game was <laughs> never meant to be funny it was meant to have a point it was meant to speak to the human condition but where are the jokes where are the jokes they bemoaned they screamed they gnashed their teeth and said entertain us it wasn't enough. They had to leave Wait, a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much, they said. First, he I didn't entertain for. us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. <laughs> it's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for Can I get a dance frog in chat? <laughs> yeah, we're jamming, dude. Absolutely. Anyone can leave a review. <laughs> this is what Kevin was born for. And are to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, Oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to boost. Never the end is 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 never the end.
Man, this is digging a lot deeper than I yeah. first thought. A lot of dance frogs. In chat. Yeah, we're getting a lot of dance frogs after this chat. <laughs> Why did you say dance frog? Where did that come from? Inspiration strikes, baby. <laughs> back how did the <laughs> the the papers on the ground are just these are just random effects that can happen at different times so it it reset but it just also happened to add a bunch of papers oh this is completely unrelated this is totally random Stanley yeah Stanley was alone <clears throat> finally this is great he thought to himself this is what I've wanted all along I got what I wanted. <laughs> uh, how did the skip button thing happen? Like, I don't know. I just like that a lot. How do you think about it? Or how did it happen? How did that happen? Um, so the, those Steam reviews are real. Like, those are those are real Steam reviews. And I actually, I knew that... Because, you know, early on, the idea was you we would go back and find, st like, positive things from the original Stanley Parable. And so I thought, okay, well, then we need to balance it out with negative things. And I, I was trying to find negative reviews in, in on websites. But there's nothing that had, like, the vitriol that I was looking for. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, my God, Steam reviews. Like, I was like, it was literally this, like, oh, yes, perfect. Like, it's perfect. And so I just went on the negative, on Stanley Parable, I just went on negative reviews and just so scrolled through. you sort through. by negative? Yes, you sort by <laughs> negative. And so I just went through, found, looked through negative reviews for ones that would be interesting. And, and I used, I found the other two, but then I came across that one and said, I wish there was a skip button. 
and it was like the entire ending just in instantly <laughs> i was like it, it, it was not there was no like making it work or clicking pieces together it was like the minute i read i wish there was a skip button the whole ending just appeared it was like and all i had to do was just sit and write it and um it, i mean it was it was just obvious and or you know to me what and a weird game to <laughs> I want a skip button like what yeah no i mean you know whatever. yeah i mean it's a yeah, it's a wild yeah. comment. Yeah, but I, I I loved I loved that um, the uh, I loved that because you can sit there and listen to him talk for ages, right? Yeah. So we wrote a I, I wrote a lot of. That's what I was gonna ask. How much skippable stuff? So it goes on for a long time, and it. Uh, why is everyone saying eat the paper? What's this meme? This happens. So I'll then have to parse together what small. Oh, maybe there's paper. <laughs> <You're>, well, what? <laughs> yeah. Chat, what are you... What Don't is, look too deep into it, because you could get sucked I ha in. No, this is... A sort of no, I have to hold them accountable. This has to make... They need to say stuff that makes sense. You did put on the hazmat suit I gave you, right? What, for your... What, me? Don't get too close. Uh, is... Yeah, I... What, I don't know what... All right, they're just... I, I thought there would there would be some clarifications on what they're talking about, but no. it's just eat the paper again no, and again. No, it'll just sort of get louder. It just, if you try yeah, to get context. Yeah, right. It'll just it. That was my you, you can make that was the my increase. My mistake for trying to understand <laughs> the 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 nonsense here. Now it's all right. We're slipping into olive oil. <laughs> okay, it's just going. It's just going. Hey, can I get some dance frogs yeah, in I'll chat? Get some dance frogs. <laughs> Uh, um, I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'll I'll talk to your chat for a minute, and right. then I have to use the bathroom okay. too. But then we'll then we'll right. do that. You take questions if you want. Okay. Oh 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 yeah, do the questions. Okay. Uh, I answered that question. What's your favorite ending? Whether it's from the base game or Ultra Deluxe. Okay, I can actually answer this now because now my favorite ending is the skip button. I it's I love the skip button. I think it's a wonderful. Um, I think it's it's wonderful. I love how it came together. It was great. It was just really really fun. Um, let's see. What's some nice... Ooh, maybe some... Yeah, I'm just looking through his, uh... All his music stuff. Ooh, maybe a little... Ooh, we shop. There we go. Perfect. Uh, hey everyone. It's the Davy Show. And you know what that means. All right. Uh, questions, questions, questions. Yes. Favorite ending across all of Stanley Parables is the skip button. I love it. I think it's wonderful. Um, it came together really, really well. Uh, what's your favorite programming language? Assembly or rigged? That's from Minimotov. Uh, I don't really program. I mean, I use scripting languages. So I've used like uh, Un Unreal's Blueprint, which is a visual scripting language. I really love Blueprint. Blueprint's great. I love it. Um, I'm a huge fan of your work. I first played the Stanley Parable on PC. As a creative person, when do you consider an idea good enough to be implemented? What's the threshold of inspiration that you have to cross to decide that a game is worth actualizing? Also, are you divorced? Um, I am future. I'm to be divorced one day. Um, I figure why, you know, why get it out of the way so young? Then I have nothing left to look forward to. Um, when you consider an idea good enough to be implemented, I don't know, man. There's no, there's no answer to that, unfortunately. Um, you just do your best. You make it, you write a thing and then you say, I think this is good. And then you take a couple weeks away from it and you come back and look at it and you go, no, this isn't good. This needs to be better. Um, you know, especially in game design, you make a lot of things and then you put them into the game and then a lot of times the thing looks good on paper and but once it actually goes into the game, it feels terrible. And um, there's no way to... There's no easy way around that. It's just... There's so many things that... That felt like in early versions of the script that felt good on paper and then we put it into the game and it, and it didn't feel good. And then you're like, well, we have to rewrite it now. And there's just no way to know. So, um, 
yeah, unfortunately, not an easy answer. But you know, I, with things like this, you try to go off of a uh, of, uh, of feeling at the very, very beginning where you feel really good about something. You have an idea for something and you like it and you feel really good and you're like, yes, I have a, I have a, I have a great solid feeling about this. And then game development is this massive crushing process that wears down your soul. And over the course of that soul crushing time, you have to just remember that at one point in time you felt good about the thing, so don't quit. That's that's most of game development. It's fun. I I love it actually. Like I do love it, but it is it gets really hard some of the time. Okay, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Yep. <clears throat> All right, chat, back to the main character. Wait, he's your brother. No, he's the developer of the Stanley Parable. <laughs> uh, there's even two chairs today. Big day for chat. Uh, you mean NPC? It's the same thing, if you think about it. Ugh, why is there a TV on the fireplace? All right, look, I'm not going to use the fireplace when the TV's in front of it, okay? It's our, it's fine. It's safe. I'm not going to burn the TV down. Don't freak out. Who even uses fireplaces anymore? There's furnaces. Why is it Twitch chat must Davey questions? Oh, well, that's because you had... To, that was part of the test. You passed. How many words have you gotten? I don't remember. Wait, look. let me look at how many are left. There's still a lot of words left. You've gotten like a third of them. Eight. Okay, okay. We, we haven't been answering that many questions. We'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do a little more questions in the future. Is that a keyboard in the back? Oh yeah, I guess you guys don't, don't normally see this. Yeah, uh, I don't really play. I want to learn piano at some point. 17 out of 25 left. Is this guy your son that you only get on Sundays after the divorce? <laughs> Does Davey drink olive oil? I'll ask him if he wants some. Is there a list of words for us to see? No, 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 no. Davey doesn't know them, and you guys don't know them. Only I know the secret words, and you have... This is the way to learn. If, you, if anybody's, like, learned a second language, the way you learn a second language, like, the most efficient way is what they learn is you don't know what any of the words are, and you sort of, you like, you go to, let's say, Spain or whatever, and you walk around in the streets yelling out Spanish words until somebody goes, that was it! That was one of our words! And you do that 25 times, and then you're Spanish now. Offer the oil. Okay, I'll offer the oil. Pog. No, this didn't happen. This is theoretical, guys. You need you need to get better at understanding the difference between, a th like, a story and this actually happened to you. You never seem to get it. Spanish now, Pog. Could I convince you? Could I convince you to convince Davy to watch the television show Severance? He talked about it. He said he he mentioned he answered your question, Numu, right? Talked about how Severance said they were inspired by it. Actually, true. I was there. <laughs> you guys, you don't understand the concept of an analogy, do you? <laughs> Is Davy theoretical? I'm Spanish now. You'll get there. <clears throat> How much shit do you eat? Oh my god. My mother did nothing to dispel these rumors. Peggle Blast now. We're not gonna stop playing Stanley Parable to go play Peggle Blast. <laughs> Why are you... Guys, we're clearly doing something else. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> Like, this is, like, the most... One of the most clearly we're not just going to go play Peggle instead. But according to Discord, he never said he watched it. Didn't you ask? Yeah, I guess I, you're right. He didn't answer that specifically. <laughs> Princess Jesse Beal. Thank you so much for the 12 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Years a long time. Thank you. Ugh. Peggle, but you promised. No, no. The masses demand Peggle. Dance frog emote when? <laughs> I 
Hold on. I'm trying to read this message. This is what... Oh, I, I, did I lose it? My wife divorced me for teaching the kids to make lean? <laughs> so we've been having some good... Bro. Bro, we've, got, we've been having some good conversations. We've all made lean, and we've all regretted it. Um, no, I okay. I answered this question. Oh, Just cool. couple. All right, this is important. Can Davy play Peggle? If you just not know, Peggle is an American series of casual puzzle video games created by PopCap Games. Peggle was released initially for desktop in two thousand seven. The year that that dude was photographed. <laughs> Coincidence? Followed, Coincidence? Yes. Followed by three sequels, Peggle Knights, Peggle 2, and Peggle Blast. In 2020, PopCap was originally founded under the name Sexy Action Cool. I didn't know that. In 2020? What? Yeah, where does this come from? Right here, this this sentence. <laughs> Their first title was a strip <gasps> poker game that served as a revenue stream for future titles. PopCap has developed several games for computers, consoles, and mobile devices. In answer to the original question, I do know what Peggle is. Yes. All right. Ship it. We Ship got it. it. Yeah. How has the popularity of YouTube and Twitch affected you design games? How you design games? Uh, do you plan around YouTubers and your marketing strategy? Not really. I mean, I know that it's aware. I'm aware that it's a thing, um, but I, I would not say I plan around it. I would say that, you know, I would say that thing is you do your best. You do your best to make a game that people will want to talk to each other about. And if that fails, uh, get your brother. You go on your streamer. brothers. <laughs> you build up your brother as a Twitch streamer in order Pulling to all the strings in, like influence. Right, right, right. To influence. Um, your chat has been talking about nothing but <laughs> olive oil. Like, I went to the bathroom. I got a snack. Like, I've been eating a snack. Uh, they're still talking about olive oil. Like, uh, you know. <laughs> You're going to make it louder. It's going to make it. It's just going to make it more. You can't acknowledge Like, it. literally because I've said this, it's now going to continue for, like, it's, another if hour. If there's a wild animal, if you find a bear in the woods, you don't make eye contact with it. The bear will get more aggressive. I know. I know. It's a beautiful fact of nature, isn't it? So the only thing you do is you have to make yourself bigger with a different topic to distract the bear. Can I get some dance frogs <laughs> in chat? <laughs> Let's see those <laughs> dance frogs. Come on. Give me dance frog. Give me dance frog. All right. Oh, oh is that why you're... Would you like some olive oil that I just touched with my feet? <laughs> Wait, do you actually have olive oil here? Yeah, I just drink it during stream. Oh, that's why they're talking about it. Well, sort of. Okay, but you all right, but you imply all right, I left and then came back and you drank olive oil in the time I was away. No. No. No, this is they'll fix okay, it. Okay, okay, all right, okay. That's not related, but was at one point related. Jesus, take the right. wheel. Spicy agent. Oh, sorry, I'll let you. Hang on. All right, I'm on. I'm just eating. No, because I didn't want to, like, talk into the thing. What? But, yeah, just do it ASMR style for Spicy Agent. Spicy Agent, this is some ASMR for you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Spicy Agent, for the five gift bomb. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so generous of you. Thank you. You want some oil? I can't do it. Yes. <laughs> this is not, this is destined for failure. Just so you know, just kind of grunt when you're done. You're good. Mm -hmm. I don't want to drink from this anymore. <laughs> you, if you didn't look so passionate when you were moving Man, up to Mary it. New, then we're, then we're going to the ten bomb. Jesus, take the wheel. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. Do I need? I probably need to give Davey half the money, huh? Of today's stream. Just make sure you specify who the money is being allocated towards and in what ratio. And also, if anybody else needs to get some percentage of it, just make sure there's like a, a sort of include a spreadsheet with every donation. I think. I think this would be an equitable deal. You give me half of. The money from this Twitch stream, okay. and I'll give you half the revenue of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. <laughs> yeah, I take that. And that's like a dollar an hour. 
Give 30% to me. Just keep the money. If you want a percentage of the money, just keep that par- percentage. Don't just... You, so many of you guys send it through me and we just g- apply taxes to all of it. Okay. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. <gasps> new content. New, new content. Jesus, take the wheel. And Digatron, thank you for the five gifted subs. Mary, Mary Anu says, all my money goes to Davey. Including my past <laughs> donations. You can't, you can't retroactively. Hell yeah. No, no, no. You cannot <laughs> retroactively. Oh, I am a mod in this channel, so I'm going to say you can retroactively give all your donations to me. Mom says, Dougie, I don't believe that you ever eat shit. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mom. Or our shit. Oh. So Mom does not think Doug is shit. That's so sweet. We but pod, we haven't heard champs. from Dad, so it's still kind of Pog champs and that for Mom not thinking that he is shit. Pog champs for Mom. She also says Mom and Dad want half the revenue. <laughs> no, no. So this, they doesn't, get, this, this doesn't apply retroactively either. Just because you texted if, Davey during the stream doesn't mean you get a cut. If you, you see, want to retroactively apply all of your donations to our parents, and about how disappointing <laughs> just say so with your donation. To be. The original Stanley Parable was a oh, wait, did I go the wrong way? No, you're good. Okay, content this is for it. it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it oh. one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever music. the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> it's big news. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. <laughs> this is what okay. fans have truly been asking for. <laughs> that would be a cool collector's item. I don't know if you guys are making a physical the copy. The entire... Calling it the no, not the entire. <laughs> is just so much I can. You buy a can. Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe. Does Davey what support does people modding mean? the game? Yeah, go but for it. I don't know if it's possible to, but go for an it. artistic statement right there. It's future orange. Oh, God. It's... Oh, it's a it's the... Uber Geek, thank you for the two years. Appreciate it. Progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Mom texted me to say that since they made you and me, they deserve all revenue that we make. How do we Which how I do we live? How, it works. how do we survive? We make children. <laughs> and then they give us all of the everything that they make. Ugh. I can't even see it. Midnight Jester, they need the Two years, I appreciate it. Thank you for Midnight Jester. Midnight Jester. Moof Murphy, thanks for the tier one 11 months. In a way, Twitch chat is my children, so I deserve their money. Hey, that's right. Stanley Parable is like my child. They're back. <laughs> how long did you spend, like, how long just the little office things? So, uh, um, so most of the environmental stuff, like this, all the environmental things here are done by the Crows team. Okay. Um, they they handled all of like you know just building all these environmental stuff so th- so all of this was was stuff that 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 Dom and and William and and the other folks over there handled, um, and you know this is kind of part of the collaborative process of it right like I start with you know okay write up the scripts and the you know what the narrator says and what happens and or you know we we workshop some like some of that but then you know okay I I try to plot out everything and how it all goes and then they go through and put a lot of of these small details in um yeah they had a lot they're great yeah can you try reading out some of this can i read it out yeah what do you mean the color red like that oh oh excuse me i'm sorry yes no let me read this uh here are some words paradigm shift 
you discovered the secret business word, paradigm. Synergy. You discovered the secret Woo! business word, synergy. Brick and mortar approach. No, none of the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> but I saw two when I was. All right, right, cool. We don't have to worry about going through all those. <laughs> I did like oh, most of these words. I'm like, when will these come up? And Gabe Newell, Synergy, and Paradigm have all been like clearly re well, sort of relevant. <laughs> They've all been directly relevant. Yes. That's that's ten. Twitch chat's ten out of twenty five secret words discovered. Until you graduate now, business clear, game design class. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. A lot of focus on the number two here. It's Stanley Parable 2, bro. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and nothing else, really. There doesn't need to be anything else. <clears throat> if you've ever played a sequel, you know that it's just the first game with the number two on it. <laughs> That's okay? That's how the game industry works. That's why people hate The Last of Us Part 2. They got confused by the word part. Could have just been the number two. That's right. That's right. That's why nobody likes The Godfather Part 2 either. <laughs> yeah. yeah, every sequel's been failure. Try out some of the new features. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. Yeah, this 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 was big for us. <laughs> A lot of work went into this. For Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, <laughs> the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Oh, sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you roleplay as Jim oh, to really play. simulate oh, the yeah, full sorry. experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. All right, you're Okay, right? here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, Jim. forget whoever you are, and simply become a person <laughs> named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim. Falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim. Seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim. Yes. And as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. I'm a steel worker. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? Mm. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see what a thrill, that what a good. rush. That was, that was you. That was good. The button described good. you. Do it again. Do it again. So, like, just writing process. How did you come up with the name Jim? <laughs> Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new. Why don't we peel back <laughs> the curtain? It would still be worth the money. Is, I, can Let's I really afford to give up my secrets? <laughs> too emotionally drained from all of this personal um. validation. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the Jim button away. Jim. Otherwise, Jim. soon you'll start to lose all Jim. sense of who Jim. you actually Jim. are. Jim. Jim. Uh. That is I, good. I, uh, I, I don't remember where the name Jim... Okay, it's just... I don't know. It's just... Uh, for whatever reason, it's just a name that I liked. But I do remember that after we put it into the game... I was concerned that it sounded too much like the word GYM, like for gymnasium. Oh, yeah. And and so I suggested other names that we maybe try to use, but everyone on the team was, like, super attached to the name Jim. But, <laughs> like, it was, like, literally the minute the button went into the game and it said Jim on it, everyone was like, no, it's Jim. Like, it's definitely Jim. So the conversation ended really fast. Is Shira? Is that a name? Shira. Okay, good insight. 
If it's on the wall, it's a name. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley <laughs> Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. <laughs> That's Jim! That's Jim, baby! <laughs> As we say in game development, <laughs> that's that's Jim. That's the eleventh T. <laughs> that's the that's the uh, hidden nineteenth T. Red is the new orange. Makes no sense. <laughs> you shut your fucking face. Jump circle, infinite hole. All right. Man, I love the look of this. It's so I know. Cool. So this is all. This is crows, crows, crows designing the the architecture and everything here, and they just did a, a great job with yeah. it. It's really, really it wonderful. It's very good. Yeah. X. Oh my God. Free achievement. You discovered the secret gaming word, achievement. It's not really supposed to be me. Just saying the words <laughs> that I know. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes the student becomes the teacher. <laughs> that's, um, that's 11, I think. 11 out of 25. You guys are making great progress. <clears throat> okay, uh, this feels a little more open-ended. I will... Collectibles. Oh, my God. I will just pick randomly. Collect them all. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect <laughs> all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unreal <laughs> life. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's horrifying. Yes. <laughs> what? Hey, one out of six, baby. <laughs> God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. That's you. God. Married to a trophy. <laughs> Why is he holding a picture of a trophy? Why didn't you just make him hold a trophy? I swear to God, you don't understand <laughs> anything that I do. Ugh. Free achievement. Pull the lever, receive a new achievement. No more steps, it just works. I'm going to guess that that last room was designed before Elden Ring came out. And that they probably that copied the you. On accident? Well, I'm what, collectibles? To simply <laughs> no, no. The achievement. No, just yeah. the, like a room where many corpses are reaching and piled up towards a, a hidden object. Right, right. Elden Ring was based on that room. You pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Test achievement unachieved. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. This is one of the single biggest things we were asked for in the new Stanley Parable game. An achievement that you get for free? No. This and a button that would unlock the broken test achievement. You can look at look it up look on the uh the Steam achievements. Wait, what? Oh oh. I don't even know how you do that. How do you Oh, locked achievements? View my achievements? Yeah. What do you what do you click? Here? Well yeah, you can click view my achievements. I think that okay. works. I don't think I've ever looked at the achievements for a game. Get your first achievement, you can't jump. Beat the game, test achievement. Please ignore. <laughs> so that's the broke. That's the broken one. Okay. So can you get this? I don't know. Welcome back. Quit the game and start again. Commitment. Play the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. I assume this is real, right? This is real. Yeah. Okay. Eight 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 eight. Click on door four thirty five times. Okay. Got to remember to do that. Speed run. Complete the Stanley Parable. Okay. Settings world champion set all sliders to all the available numbers. 
<laughs> don't don't play for ten years. Okay. Okay. So. And you're saying this is a big piece of feedback you've been getting? Yeah, yeah. This is one of the cr critical things when Stanley Parable 1 came out. Was... Please give us a way to... Achieve this. Is this sort of what... What, uh... What kind of knocked some of the review scores? Right. Yeah. Um... PC Gamer gave us an 88%, and the remaining 12% was just the inability to unlock that what else? achievement. What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Infinite Hole. Alright, we'll go left first. <clears throat> time depth. Time like infinity, distant future, distant space time, distant time deeper, hole like. This is not informative. <laughs> Rim, surrounding area, hole entrance, infinite hole chart, more <laughs> hole. <laughs> All of these are describing different things. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Oh. Hell yeah. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue <laughs> onward. <laughs> I'm really quite shocked that infinite hole wasn't one of your game design words. <laughs> now, I don't mean to be a bummer. I like, how did that happen? Use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Okay, Stanley, I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite <laughs> nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep <laughs> hole it is. Very, is it very deep. Infinite? It's very, very deep. Well, it sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Oh. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... <laughs> okay, well, good for you. You found the it's not of that the It's wrong. extremely I deep. I'm it's basically infinite. So clever. <laughs> the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually <laughs> need. Don't you put this on me? Maybe you're the problem. It's a really deep hole. <sighs> Kind of deep. Look, uh, things got a little How deep. dare you? How dare you? I've seen some deep holes. It's basically infinite. I remember one time. It was huge. Agree to just call the hole mostly infinite. See? Can we if that works meet you, in the middle there? Then go ahead and press the middle, middle, middle infinite. Middle, all right, middle infinite. I'll take it. On. I'll just be up here when you're ready. I won't do it. <sighs> I didn't know how this was going to work, but the song plays. It's good. I'm seeing some dance frogs in chat. How long do you think the longest somebody has waited for the next line of dialogue oh, in this game dude, that, that, I, that isn't going to come? I, okay, like I've been watching Twitch streamers, you know, play play this a bit for yeah. the last few days. 
and the number of times that someone gets to a certain spot and they're like, all right, I'm going to wait here until the end of time. <laughs> and you didn't see it, but in the skip button section, there's one of the lines. He's where he can't find the door anymore. He's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to go find the door. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. And then, of course, he never comes back, and you just have to hit skip. I swear, I shit you not. Like, I've, I've watched people who, get, like, streamers get to that place, and they're like, okay, this is what we're doing. And then they just, like, fuck it. And then they just, it just becomes a just chatting stream for, like, an hour or something <laughs> while they wait for the narrator. And I, I always feel a little bit bad because I kind of want, I, you know, I feel like they should have given them something for sitting there and waiting, but it doesn't happen. Oh, that's very funny. It's even funnier for a person whose job it is to, like, play a game. Yeah. <laughs> and they're willing to stop working. <laughs> well, but that's the thing. Is they're not... They're actually more working. Because because then they have to be content. My game is content. Or my game is, like, half the content. Yeah. For the time, right? Yeah. But as soon as they begin as soon as they as soon as they're like all right we're gonna sit and wait for the narrator guess what baby you're 100 percent content you're the con now yeah. you're the content yeah, you pass the ball to them R right yeah. right right exactly so it's like a you know like a hey i gotta keep you on your toes a little bit here you know you've been you streamer have been sitting here coasting on my content for a bit but what about you selfishly what about you yeah yeah, yeah yeah you're more of an improv like teacher like you pet you know you set them up with a topic yeah and then you send them off for a full hour <laughs> <laughs> right 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 <laughs> So here, for example, the topic is, you know. Well, let me go to chat for that. <clears throat> Milk the hole. I'm going to ban Wait, that guy. No. I'm very <laughs> excited to show you even more of my ideas. How dare you try to milk my brother's game? Unbelievable. <clears throat> he charges for that privilege. Is there something back here? Oh, did I discover one of your secret endings, Davey? I found the chain link fence ending. You should go back in the hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. <laughs> Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there, goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter <laughs> to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you. How did this come about. up when you were like, enough of the hole for a we're making new endings for the ceiling? Uh... <laughs> I mean, you don't have to tell me, but I like the idea that it went from that to a hole. Well, gosh. So we, we we had the Stanley the Parable two exhibit, to become a thing where... <laughs> wow. okay. and I just sat about yeah. trying to write new exhibits, to like exhibits for things that could be that the in is not only not in infinite, Stanley Parable but two. It's growing steadily less and less infinite. Um, I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point I think where the, it's no longer feasible to call the hole. I think the, the fun part about the something like the infinite hole and the thing that felt good, at least at the start. Going on here? Um, Stanley, I have no I explanation for the uncertain the nature of the yeah, hole. Yeah, I guess just give it a sec. Yeah, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my <laughs> life has come to haunt. How is this still appalling to you? I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. <laughs> is the, um, teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was worth still nothing. Well, I suppose, I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. 
Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity. Now I'm curious if we add your music on top, what it sounds like. Yeah. Change your reality. <laughs> Let's get some dance frogs yeah. in chat. This is a certified dance frog moment. This is a dance frog jam. This <laughs> is. <laughs> This is a certified dance frog classic. Change yourself. <laughs> I can't see because it went. Are those two pots? No, you have to change your perception. Oh, sorry. Or your perspective, perspective. Yeah. Change your perspective. See, it's Stanley's upside down. There he is. Oh. <laughs> 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 Stanley? 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 Oh good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly focused <laughs> this has on gone the hole? So much. From the look of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. <laughs> is that a phrase? Sure, now it is. <laughs> My God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Can you go back to the hole? Uh, well, I'll just tell you. It's it, the door is closed. No, okay. You, yeah, you can't can't go back. Wow. I'll give you a little. <laughs> that is really funny. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> that that took a while. <clears throat> Um, I think the 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 initial the initial sort of fun of it or the idea of the hole was just uh, <clears throat> that like being able to jump back in was a kind of like defying the narrator type of thing. You know, it just offered this sort of immediate kind of like what what can you do to continue to poke at this guy, and um, and so then it kind of. It just felt like, okay, well, the natural conclusion should be that it gets shorter and shorter. 
Um, and then the last bit was like, we had a really tough time because I didn't know where to go from there. <laughs> like, what do you do after it gets shorter and do you shorter? Need to? I mean, it worked great. It's just, <laughs> it just funny well, that it, at that it, point it, you're like, this has to go on. Well, it's not that it had to go on. Okay. It was someone suggested, and I forget who, if it was me or William or what, but someone suggested, what if you get, because I liked the idea that it was, sh that it was really short and you couldn't get out, but then what? And someone suggested, what if the hole starts lowering, right? And, and I, and I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. Like, that's such a neat idea, right? Like, because exactly where, where, you know, where you get to at that point where the music starts and the hole starts lowering. I was like, oh my God, that feels so neat, but I don't know what happens next, right? Um, because it is like a really cool feeling when the hole starts to lower. Yeah. And then <laughs> yeah. I was like, but what is what what's it doing? What's it doing when you go down? And that one, I was like months we sat on that, with it just <laughs> being like a like a und like a, a non an undefined, you know, this some something happens when the hole starts to lower. And then I think I was on an airplane and I was just like taking had, a lot of edibles. Had taken a lot of edibles on an airplane like I do. And uh, I just had my laptop out and I was just writing stuff and I don't remember what it, but it, what it was, but I was just like, oh, and then Stanley has a dream sequence and the narrator <laughs> wakes him up. I, it was just like, <laughs> it was just this one moment. I was like, oh, there, that's the ending. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley. Oh, uh, I really like that well. a lot. <clears throat> oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. It's the saddest one. Which one? Dejected Groose. There we go. <laughs> All right. So you did that. Did the collectibles. Oh, oh, this one. Man. Good room. Solid room. Good room. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. <laughs> I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, <laughs> like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. It is Which would you go with? wild how funny him just saying... Uh, yeah, he really can just say like just a anything. word, like balloons, and it's yeah. funny. <laughs> it's all the staff knees. That's such a specific. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday. It is. <laughs> <gasps> or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Come now. You've already made your choice. It's true that you chose badly, but we all have to move on from our mistakes. Yeah, there's some things over here I think we haven't seen yet. Oh, I'm back. Okay. Got I saw the new content. <laughs> Man. Some of these By the way, sell. you should... Uh, oh, okay. I was, okay. Huh? Uh, no, I was just disoriented. Um, <clears throat> yeah. You should do the... You should scan the QR code. There. Oh, oh. Let me move, pull back. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's probably better. Maybe? That seems like that should be good enough. I agree. Maybe it's just my phone. Let me see. Do I have a QR? And QR code. There you go. Oh, okay. I'll just go to the link. So it goes to stanleyparable2.com. Q 
official website of Stanley Parable 2. A sequel, huh? Watch our helpful and informative video to learn about the Stanley Parable and journey of what becoming a sequel is all about. You, uh, you remember that, that old <laughs> PSA yeah. that we did yep. for the, uh, um, what's the line you liked? Tonight millions Tonight will millions die. will die. Yeah, well, you're, we got another one. All right, we're in for 10 minutes. See there, Timmy. What's that you're enjoying? Why? It's breakfast, of course. <laughs> Everyone loves breakfast. But did you know that breakfast is getting a sequel? That's <laughs> right. It's called Lunch. And critics are raving that lunch will be everything breakfast was and more. With a little luck, we may even get a trilogy series out of it. Say, you know what a sequel is, don't you, Timmy? Why? Sequels are the world's way of clinging helplessly to the past. We all want more of the things we love, and we're all afraid of change, which is what makes sequels so popular. New ideas are dangerous, Timmy, and they can lead to early aging. This <laughs> eager-minded young thinker is just 29 years old. That's why we have sequels, to keep us couched in the familiar and the comfortable. Sequels are the bedrock of a healthy, functional society. And if you it's look around, like, um... you'll find them every... <laughs> There's like a website that just has like a bajillion of these. So I just downloaded like Ugh. 50 of them and combed through. The last one was like from a pedophile. Piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. The last one was like gay people are pedophiles who are going to molest your children. Yes, that is that is true. Where you go. For instance, this man is developing a sequel to the automobile, which we'll call the vertical automobile. It's a useless, impractical invention. And in two days' time, the man will be publicly stoned to death for his crimes against gravity. Not all sequels are heretical nonsense, however. Here's the man who invented breathing, which is the sequel to suffocating and dying a slow death. Even your parents are getting a sequel, Timmy. Their names are Rob and Jessica, and they'll be taking care of you once your original parents yes. are sent back in time to fight a secret war for the government. <laughs> sequels can be very fashionable. This young woman is wearing five shirts at once, which is the sequel to wearing four shirts at once. <laughs> Look at Becky over there, wearing only two shirts at once. Get with the times, Becky. <laughs> In fact, for some of these, did you like find the shot first and then figure out how to like? Insert yes, it? that's exact. That is exactly what happened. I think for that specific, I think for that specific one with the kid pointing over yeah, the girl, yeah. I was like, all right, all right, we got, we, we got to fuck Becky. with Becky. <laughs> <laughs> we got to, we got to run Becky over the coals. I, I do specifically remember seeing that one and thinking, oh man, Becky's gonna really eat it after oh. this. Oh my god! There is only one <laughs> single thing in the world that isn't a sequel. It's this. <laughs> We don't know what it is or why it exists, but it's the prequel from which all sequels are derived. I just feel the same thing here. I'm no, just, no, no. This was the opposite. This was I liked. I was I liked the idea of a thing being because I do of, have no idea of what's going only on. one thing being a sequel or one thing not being a sequel. And I just looked and all the footage. This one is so absurd <laughs> and nonsensical that I, I thought it was perfect. Uh, oh. And just like everything else, The Stanley Parable is getting a sequel, too. We all know, of course, that it was your favorite game as a child. Don't you remember those long, lazy afternoons you spent playing The Stanley <laughs> Parable? Watching your precious youth fritter away hour after hour. We've all wasted our childhoods in one way or another, and you were fortunate enough to get to waste yours on The Stanley Parable. But the Stanley Parable came out years ago, and you're not a child anymore. You're a man, which is like the sequel to a child. And as a man, you want manly things like taxes and cheating at baseball. You need a man's video game, Timmy. And that's why the Stanley Parable 2 will be perfect for you. It's as manly as video games can get. And if you don't believe me, let's look at the burly hunk of a man who's responsible for the game. Huh. Here he is, hard at work. His name is Gregory Eightpack, and he's the cutting picture of raw, virile masculinity. Gregory is what we call the ideas guy, and he <laughs> has the most important role on the team. The ideas guy tirelessly comes up with interesting concepts and then hands them off to the rest of the developers for the relatively simple job of turning those concepts into reality. For example, he's the one who picked up the phone and declared, Someone ought to make a sequel to the Stanley Parable. Good work, Gregory. <laughs> Go ahead and take the rest of the day off. 
With the hard part out of the way, work on the game can now begin. The game's developers must answer a simple question. What makes a sequel in the first place? Well, it's simple. Sequels are an opportunity to correct the mistakes of their predecessors. This isn't like public, right? Other no, it's unlisted. Yeah, it's just, so it's just, just, it's just okay. We've all made mistakes, and we've all caused harm to someone we love in order to cover up our mistakes. <laughs> when developing this particular sequel, it's important to start by thinking, what mistakes did the original Stanley Parable make? Well, first off, most of the pornography in the original <laughs> game was stolen or pirated, and it's time we paid the licensing <laughs> fees fair and square. Second, the Stanley Parable was catastrophic for this man named Leroy, whose personal information, including home address, social security number, and bank information, were all displayed prominently in multiple locations throughout the game. Although Leroy's money and identity were stolen, the fact remains that his personal information was the emotional core of the game, <laughs> and absolutely vital to a nuanced understanding of the story. As reparation for the harm we caused him, the sequel will contain a brief and insincere apology to Leroy, tucked deep within the game, where it will be difficult to find. I don't actually know Finally, if we remember to do that. Parable made the mistake of leaking too many government secrets about the nature of the time wars. Without these intricate details of specific military tactics, the story is likely to make very little sense. But we've decided to remove them from the sequel in the interest of helping the state's efforts. We'll get to you yet, Time Dracula. <laughs> now then, it's time to set about constructing the Stanley Parable 2. Game development is a difficult and complex art. One which can only be fully understood by this race of hyper-intelligent child soldiers bred in laboratories. <laughs> they begin by studying the original Stanley Parable. Here it is <laughs> in its raw, untouched form, a specimen of technological perfection. Time to exploit it for profit. <laughs> we begin by adding jokes. The Stanley Parable was most widely known it's, for its star. It's just the the web the Internet Archive <laughs> website has like a thousand of these various various <laughs> PSAs from all these different things. You just, just there's just been several shots from like what possible like all purpose of, was this? All of this footage was filmed in 2013. <laughs> lack of humor, bucking all conventional Ugh. industry wisdom. It was a bold artist statement that its developers stood firmly behind. But in 2022, <laughs> it's impossible to reach even a single consumer of video games without jokes of some kind. So very well, jokes it'll be. <laughs> During its development, over 500 kiloliters of comedy will be funneled directly into the core of the Stanley Parable 2 creating jobs for hundreds of machine operators and producing 30,000 tons of pollutant chemical <coughs> byproduct, which will be pumped directly into local lakes, rivers, and beautiful nature reserves like these all over the country. Another common complaint of the Stanley Parable is that there wasn't enough gameplay. And so for the sequel, its developers have gone to great lengths to fix this problem. Here we can see gameplay being printed on the sheets. Every video game contains as many as a thousand sheets of gameplay, <laughs> and several of the largest games ever made contain close to 1,500. <laughs> On mobile devices, the gameplay sheets have to be printed smaller. <laughs> For the Stanley Parable 2, as many as 35 new gameplay sheets are being printed, each of which must be delicately massaged by the hands of a child before being added into the game. This man is stealing gameplay sheets from the factory, which he likely intends to use for a personal project he's been developing in his spare time. A good public stoning will cure him of that inclination. Let's check on Gregory real quick. Ha! Still recovering from a hard day's work. Don't you move a muscle. Next up, it's time to blackmail the press. In a competitive market, blackmailing your local journalist can be one of the most effective methods of creating word-of-mouth buzz for your sequel. In fact, blackmail is the currency of social progress. From your neighborhood grocer to the teacher at your school to the man who helps you steal HBO, everyone <laughs> responds to blackmail. And if you've never done it before, it's easy to practice at home on your friends and family. Simply follow the instructional pamphlet that your teacher hands out after the end of the film. And finally, there's one last tool at our disposal for making the sequel feel fresh and exciting, and that's packaging the game with collector's edition merchandise. 
If you order the Stanley Parable <laughs> 2, you'll receive this cow's egg. A single egg will produce over a thousand cows, which are, of course, the sequel to pigs. And there you have it. Everything there is to know about producing the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> oh. Of course, you may know that there is also a game titled The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. So which game is the true sequel to The Stanley Parable? It's an excellent question, Billy. One which the child soldiers have been working <coughs> round the clock to come up with an answer to. And after many weeks of diligent research, the conclusion they've reached is... Who gives a shit? All that matters is that it's more content for you to cram down your insatiable gullet. You don't want thoughtful and nuanced answers to complex questions, Billy. You just want to eat bubblegum and cheat at hopscotch. So get out there and consume. Do your civic duty and bully your parents into buying you every version of the Stanley Parable <laughs> 2 on every platform. Tell your friends to bully their parents as well. It's through <laughs> community efforts like these that the world comes together in harmony and connection. And it's only through this connection that we'll defeat Time Dracula once <laughs> and for all. Don't let the time-traveling vampires win. <laughs> Buy the Stanley Parable 2 and pledge to support all sequels. For today, tomorrow, and into the great unknowable beyond. Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, did he even reference Billy before near the end? <laughs> Okay, so, so, so it, it's at the beginning. Hang on. <laughs> See there, Timmy. What's that you're enjoying? Why? It's breakfast, of course. So for the whole intro section, it calls him Timmy, and then, it, and then for the last bit, it calls him Billy. And you know what's funny is that we did the exact same thing on the previous. Really? PSA. At the, on the previous PSA, Whoa. it starts off calling the kid Billy and ends calling him Timmy. <laughs> or no, the other way around. It starts off calling him Timmy and ends calling him Billy. Oh my God. So I thought that was a good little, uh, a good a good feature to oh continue. Oh my God. Oh, I love these videos. <laughs> How many people have, have actually like, found this? I wouldn't have found the QR Everyone code. loves yeah. Breck. 21,000. That's a lot. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, they won't be able to. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on a sec. We were, uh, we made that, I made that video, and then we were going to release it um, leading up to the launch of the game um, because the idea was everywhere it says Stanley Parable 2, we were going to, it was, it said originally, it said Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, and the idea was we were going to release it as a marketing thing for, um, um, you know, for Ultra Deluxe as like, oh, it's like a sequel to Stanley Parable. And then we, we kind of, you know, because that's how we did the last one, right? Was, well, that was a marketing thing leading up to the original Stanley yeah, Parable. Yeah, 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 that PSA. And that, then, yeah, for people who don't know, there was a similar Bi style video I, that okay. you did for the original Stanley Parable. I'm going to call out a comment. <laughs> Billy is the sequel to Timmy. Thank you, Orphoria, <laughs> for that. Um, so, yeah, so originally it was going to be a marketing thing leading up to the game coming out. And then as, and then as like, we got closer and closer to launch, and it was feeling like, oh, man, you know, we're calling it a sequel, but we're not... That doesn't feel like what... We, we haven't been talking about this game as a sequel. We've been talking about it as a, you know, sort of a reimagining or whatever. And so the idea of calling it a sequel in our marketing just didn't... It just felt wrong. And, and so we were, like, we were trying to figure out, like, what are we going to do with this? And then, I mean, it was literally you know, a week ago, four, three, four days before the game came out, we were like, what if we put it in the QR code and then, and then we, then, then we, we left it in there and then now, and then, so I rewrote it as Stanley Parable 2 rather than, uh, oh, yeah. I, re I rewrote it all as Stanley Parable 2 <laughs> rather than Ultra Deluxe and then Kevin recorded it and then we, we put it in, into Jeez. that QR code. Oh, I mean, it's not like it's not like if you had put that out publicly, people would be like, "Oh, now I understand what's going on." <laughs> it would have... No, 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 no. <laughs> so it's no. Not like a huge loss, but, but it's oh my but God. it's really fun. Like I've, it's really fun to see people like just click on that QR code and get the video. God, I, yeah, those are. 
I don't want to say that my favorite thing about your video games are the videos you make. <laughs> That's okay. You can say that. But I will strongly imply it. God, just the the footage is so funny. Oh. Okay. More content. A common Ooh. complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. <sighs> that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, <laughs> anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring <laughs> cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes. The bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Ooh. Mm. Chat? Can I get... Can I get some... Can I get some dance buckets? <laughs> In chat? Oh, alright. Can I get some dance I know buckets? I've been feeling good about the stream, but don't push this too far. You don't know what could happen. I'm a man on the edge. I'm I've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even What's in the what? face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? <laughs> I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, <laughs> don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. It is wild how you can make seemingly the the more irrelevant and simple an object is, the, the more you're <laughs> able to turn it into the most important thing. <clears throat> That's the fun. That's the fun. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really <laughs> should be an award if it isn't already. Uh, I really love that it's just a dirty bucket. <laughs> um, let's see. Jump circle. I think I've been here. I've been the achievement thing. Are you stuck with the bucket? For the <laughs> uh, uh, jump circle this map, free achievement button, this is the name, merch, settings, world champion, bucket I've gone to, office decorations I haven't been to. Three. No, that's the balloons. That was the balloons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Epilogue, why do you... <laughs> um, collectibles, infinite hole, exit. So, uh, settings, world champion, pound sign. So that's across from <laughs> so confused. Across from <laughs> across from merch. <clears throat> uh, wait. No, I can here. No, go this. Turn around and then go over here, and then turn right into that door. Okay. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> God, this game must suck if you don't have the person who made it there to, gui to guide you. All games should have the person. Who I made agree. It. I agree. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it would go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. And then you go straight across for the... Although, you don't have the Settings World Champion achievement. So, it won't do anything. I can get it real fast. You could. How long does it take? I don't know, man. How fast are you at settings? So, it's I have to set each individual number? Yes. <laughs> I, don't do I mean, you can... Yeah, right. It, you can you just do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You oh, can do okay, that, yeah. Okay. I don't remember what was that. Was like well, it was somewhere around there. 72, I think. So, okay. <laughs> I this is gameplay. <laughs> this is gameplay right here. <laughs> hang on. you. Hang on. Go back. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, baby. <laughs> I have to do 
all this? Yes. <laughs> okay. Fucking world champion. <laughs> okay. What do you think? <laughs> do Hang on. Yes, you do. Of course you do. Okay. Uh, what do you think the achievement is for? <laughs> for doing most of it? No, no, no. Wait, I got him. Show color labels. Oh, wait, is that it? Oh, that was this part of the sub, Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's different. You're right. It's different. Yeah. Um, no, not now that. Now delete your save data. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is 60. This is the story of a man. Oh. <laughs> I missed one? Wait, go to controls. Simplified controls. There it is. Look at that. Oh! Yeah. Big, big, huge. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Can I get some dance buckets well, let's in get chat? Some dance buckets. <laughs> Settings world champion. <clears throat> Aha! I can see you've gotten the settings world champion achievement. Well done. You've experienced every setting, traveled to all corners of the settings menu. There's nothing you haven't <laughs> seen. So, just for you, in the Stanley <clears throat> Parable 2, I'm including an entirely new setting, something called Bump Scosity. <laughs> What exactly That's not is one of my words. Bumpscosity? Well, I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but I just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider, and that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. I hope you're looking forward to trying out every level of Bumpscosity in the Stanley Parable 2. Bumpscosity is the 15th T of game design. Certified dance bucket moment. Dude, are you just stuck right, with the it. bucket? You've ever, everything. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're not stuck with the bucket. You get to be stuck with the bucket. Have you seen people who got the bucket at the beginning and then just had it this whole? No. Okay. I'm not gonna answer that question. Five, you're here. So. Where is it? So go. Sorry, it's on the other side of that red rope. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? What? <laughs> No screenshots. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. <laughs> um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes, yes, this is much Baby, the bucket blocks so have. much of the screen. The bucket two. collaborates on <sighs> so much of the screen. Who am I kidding, Stanley? That's true. This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. 
I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original. Do you game. get to the Doug. district very often? Oh. oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Lil Curbs, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're playing uh, one of the best Mario levels you'll ever see in Mario Maker 2. The Stanley Mario. The Mario Parable. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a thousand. Goes from a hundred to a thousand. <laughs> Adjust the... Adjust the bump scarcity, yeah. <laughs> it's me. Only one of them is me. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company <laughs> in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his <coughs> desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. It is the same. And then one day, From something this point. very peculiar happened. Something that would forever just, change you know, Stanley. Something he would too. never quite forget. <clears throat> he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one. Sure. Yeah. Like we can we can skip forward. I did like but, seeing those balloons. But those balloons, there they are. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> well, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, don't. No. No. Don't do it yet. Okay. We'll do it in a sec. But okay. Did you miss? Hmm? What are you? Oh my god. <laughs> How did you not see I, it? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Stanley picked up the bucket. Oh wait, was that me? Oh yeah. <clears throat> Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his <laughs> chest and entered the door on his <gasps> left. Uh... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, <laughs> telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Man, I've never, um, I always like, I, I'll like hear when game designers talk about making games, mm -hmm. and they're like, how it's so hard. Had, you you have to expect that players will do absolutely anything. Yeah. And just the fact that I missed the bucket is it's like yeah. Jesus. There's actually um on the other side of the on the other side because you can go around the other side of the of the office and yep. we we put up a rope we put up like a velvet rope to stop people from doing that because people would like walk around the bucket like on the other side. <laughs> you are the first person I've seen literally walk past it yeah, and I not not, see, not it. see it. <clears throat> yeah. Man, game design seems hard. Game design is hard. Because like, that's not your fault. <laughs> uh, you know, you always think to yourself, was, maybe we could have made it flashier. Perfect. Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. The bucket <laughs> was wrong. 
Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. <laughs> no, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. <laughs> the cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift Wait, all the way to the top. <laughs> There's something oh up God. there I need you to do. You got eagle eyes Stanley for the collectibles. Oh, yeah, that part I got. The bucket. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, <coughs> said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Do you remember from the original where you go to his apartment? Uh, to Stanley's apartment? Yeah. I don't think so. Okay. I probably remember it. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. I remember, yeah. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. This is the sad story of a man <laughs> I named do remember, Stanley yeah. and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. This is not the same apartment as that one. Rebuilt this one for the bucket ending. <laughs> the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Did you remake every ending for the bucket? Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Lately, Welcome. I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince <coughs> him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley! Can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively <laughs> transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. <laughs> Don't listen to the loud man. <laughs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is this awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. <laughs> it's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket <laughs> does have a nice shine to it. <laughs> yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your <laughs> average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. <coughs> Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's <laughs> literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings <laughs> for the bucket. No, oh, no, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll...
Where's the jazz one? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. Oh, God, yeah, I'm okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is really insane. Stanley lifted <laughs> the bucket into his arms. Had to make sure you can, you can take the bucket the with you. Had to make sure you keep the bucket, no matter Stanley what. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. So, yeah, now the real Stanley parable begins. Oh, oh, like I'm in. Okay. Oh, I just meant that, like, now it, you know, the bucket gets Still makes no things weird. Here. Yeah. Stanley needed the bucket's but also, warmth and comfort uh, now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Not cost efficient. Stand up. Stand. I can't read that. <laughs> it's just closed? Oh, no, it's open. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. <laughs> you can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy, it's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your <laughs> shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. <laughs> you can't hand it over. Oh no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults <laughs> simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. <gasps> but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? <laughs> that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. <laughs> Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide. I was wondering if you would incorporate the broom the closet into together. this new game. Go through each of and if so, how? Points. And the fact that it's just share about a bucket. <laughs> I think it's obvious that if we were going to bring the broom closet back, that it would be related to a bucket. Entirely revolve around. I don't a see how you, I don't see how you didn't see this coming. That it would reference the one of the beloved things from the first game, but just only hone <laughs> in on a bucket. I got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Because <laughs> I'm sure many people saw it. There. Now so I was like, oh, it'll be broom closet no and stuff. And they're like, no, no. no more discussion. We're hey, hold, on. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Something else very important we need to talk about. About the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. I was definitely not especially interested in just doing like Here's another broom closet thing, you All know. Right. I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see, <laughs> I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That He's way, not wrong. If you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket <laughs> or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just <laughs> giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. 
You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Yeah, I, you know, I, there, I didn't even, even pre-bucket, there were no plans to, like, bring the broom closet back for some new type of thing. So then... When the bucket kind of came into it, it was like, all right, this is a good this is a good way to reuse a thing people like, but put a different spin on it, you know. But, but aggressively stop them from getting to focus on the part they like. Yes, and just make thank it you. The you get it now. How long have people waited in the broom closet? Probably a long time. <laughs> If I had to guess, <laughs> I would guess be a long thousands time. Thousands of hours of human existence. Yes, yeah, like the, the collective universe. total of time a large people percentage. spend doing literally nothing, waiting for narrator content. Coming to a stand, the Stanley and the bucket boy upstairs to the boss's office. What is down here? <laughs> oh shit, yeah, dude. One of the miniature standards to the remember the new it. of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. Can I get a dance right? frog so in the chat? I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> that was so long ago. <laughs> Why is was, it written on the wall like it's a public bathroom stall? I don't stall? know, man. I just <laughs> see exactly imagining the boss was like that was I was referencing Cookie Crisp cereal. No, yeah, I, yeah, okay, yeah. all right. And I just imagine the what is the boss? Right, but eat, that doesn't explain. What is the boss <laughs> eat for breakfast? He eats Money Crisp, and he's just he's taking a poop, and he's just so excited about that idea, you know. And he lifts up behind him. Yeah, he's like on the back. exactly. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing <laughs> presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two oh. of them were inseparable. Oh. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender he spiritual... He turned this into a romantic video bucket, game. ...that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. <laughs> ...was 2845. Uh... So is every... You really made everything in the game? The for the bucket? The yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Literally, oh God. literally everything. Jesus Christ. Literally everything. That is this such is a large amount of effort yes. for this joke. Yes. Yes. Uh. Yes, it is. I'll tell you actually. Okay. Uh, so this is kind of a this is kind of exclusive content. Mm. Um, I know everyone comes to Doug Doug for hot, uh, hot for takes. yeah for exclusive journal breaking journalistic news, but the bucket went through a couple iterations the <laughs> the early okay the very first idea because we wanted the we wanted there to be something you could carry around in the new game and the very first idea was th th like you'd pick up a bucket and then the idea that i really liked was we would everywhere in the script that the narrator says the word stanley while you're holding the bucket uh, the narrator would instead say, we would re-record his line to, to say Stanley and the bucket. Yeah. So literally it would be the entire game exactly the same, <laughs> except there. Stanley and the bucket in uh, place of any spot where he said the word Stanley. And I loved that joke because of how much work it would be for, <laughs> for so little payoff. 
<laughs> like that was I wanted it to be that we would we it would take us it would cost us all of this effort and yeah. energy and provide us almost nothing in <laughs> in response. And I thought it was funny. Uh, and then it was kind of like, hey, well, you know, I was talking to to the crows guys and I was like, hey, well, what if what if you have a little flag that you can set on the back end where if you're holding the bucket, a different line of VO plays, yeah. right? And I'll write the bucket lines so that they're basically the same length as the original so that the timings don't get messed <laughs> oh up, right? God. So I'll just write it so it's like the same word count or whatever. Yeah. And then the lines will be the same. And they were like, yeah, cool, that's simple enough. We'll, we'll do that because it's just swapping out VO. And then, like, over time, it kind of comes along and it's like, hey, well, what if in a couple of locations we actually, like, changed the level all together right and then one or two locations became many <laughs> many <laughs> many locations entire... uh, but some of them are just vo swapped yeah. but mo but a lot a significant amount of it is actual entirely different levels but it, like we, we never would have decided if we had from the outset if we had decided that we were going to do this we never we would have cut it for scope immediately it was only because we first we thought it was just going to be vo and then we thought it was just going to be one or two spots that we changed the level and then it became it just so you'd say you guys it started as a bucket you started to develop an attachment to the bucket and it grew in importance and scope in your own lives Thank you for thank you for this uh interlude while we no oh. <laughs> just <laughs> and just adding collectibles. Oh yeah, it's collectible figurine. <laughs> um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs. Oh um, what about Stanley? I think that the Stanley yes, Parable 2 is I just like in that. the the Another background for this Stanley too. Stanley under your belt. I love that you didn't market it as a sequel. Yes. And then the game isn't a sequel, but yes. it's calling itself a sequel yes. while brainstorming what the sequel would be. Yes. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> that's all, all. All of that's correct. It's all. It's all, all <laughs> so it's entirely, confusing. entirely correct. You made a 10 minute yes. promotional video that yes. you hit in a QR yes. code. That's, yes, that's you also correct. To, that's also correct, yes. Uh, it would be all Stanley could yes. do to keep himself together, <laughs> if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. Oh the bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Was that a real thing? At the, at the intro of this bucket, it was like, um, people said it was like distressing. Is that a real kind of like sentiment with the game? No. No, people. That's what people like about the game. Is that oh, it's, okay, okay, okay. Like, so that didn't stem out of somebody being like, "This is actually giving me dread." No, 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 no. It was literally just. It was literally just, you know, what's a reason? What's an excuse to give you a bucket? Stanley and the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." We'll do the escape. This is all. Uh, so they just. Just crows just remade remade all of, this all of it hand. in in unit. Well, so the art assets like you don't have to remake those, right? Oh, okay. Because you know you can export an OBJ and or whatever or however they did it. You know I don't like I don't know the specific way that they did it, but yeah. Um and and there was there would you know if uh if Dom or William are watching, you can send me a thing to correct me. But I I believe that there was an exporting tool that was able to take us some object locations from the source maps and um, insert them into the uh, Unity levels. Um, so there was some extent to which it was possible to place objects in the same spot that they were 
in the original thing. But then, I mean, there's so much that doesn't, you know, get yeah. like just light lighting and rendering and the way that all, all the materials work on everything and the, you know, movement speed and, and controls. I mean, like, you know, there's so, so much that has to be, yeah, um, that has to be re rebuilt. Yeah, it's wild that rebuilding the game <laughs> take that much. Like the same oh, game would take that much effort. Multiple but, years, like yeah. multiple years of development. Yeah, I mean, like it. It all kind of you know got rolling shortly after the game came out in 2013, and then you oh know, shit, I didn't realize it's been cooking for that long. Well, you know, it's it was there was like research being done. Like, what's the way we can do this? And yeah. it just took a long time. You know. Jeez. I all mean, right. it's crazy. I it was like in indistinguishable to me. From, yeah, I know. You know, I know. That's, it's yeah, nuts. It's, it's wild. A lot of work went Although into that. this passageway had the word Here, you do this one. I'm going to use it. Okay. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the Bucket would both meet a violent death. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's not actually adding anything. The door behind it's them not. was not shut. Stanley and the Bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. God, I remember this. So again, for context, I, I played the original game. This is one of the original endings, and I played it in 2013 when it came out. And haven't played since. At this point, Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Uh oh, uh oh, chat. I'm scared. The, the clapping one? It's where it's, it's like going... I think I remember this. I will actually need the comfort bucket for this. So it is kind of freaky. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's <laughs> warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? Oh this is what Stanley thought to himself. And he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. <laughs> Farewell, Stanley. Is there, there's no way to stop it, right? Oh, yeah. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal Wait, so doors, we recorded these in a lines? single visceral instant, <laughs> the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent <laughs> bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. Oh my god. This is so much work. This is, okay, in the original game, this is like a, like a museum dedicated to you, Stanley. God, is the whole thing remade? <laughs> Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Holy Can shit. you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? There's <laughs> so many things wrong with this. Okay. I can't. Replica of the Inferno Bucket, which in the medieval era was so powerfully alluring that it drove nations to war with one another for control. Billions <laughs> died. And yet, in spite of it, the simple fact remains no one can control a bucket. Oh my god. Stress, but <laughs> you, you remade the whole museum? Yes. <laughs> this, this so I already thought it was like pretty a uh, pretty excessive. <laughs> this is Oh Yes, we did. Yes, there was much. <laughs> Ender Brian, thank you very much for the fifteen gifted subs. Appreciate it. 
coping strategies. <laughs> Who who's the lady who who her name is Leslie Staples. And you hit her up and we're like, yep. same line as they She years did. Ago. Yes, she did <laughs> same thing. Yep. Just add one that's word. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> right. Not yeah. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worthy of its treasures. <laughs> oh my god. No man can own a bucket, <laughs> and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. I remember when after we wrote a lot of the bu uh, after writing a lot of the bucket stuff we sent off um the narration or uh, we sent off the lines to Kevin and to Leslie and le we got we got it we got the recordings back from Leslie first and these these bucket recordings were the first ones that I ever listened to and it was like hearing them hearing her say the bucket lines <laughs> it was like I can't tell you how magical it was it was it, like it was it was like, you know, Christmas morning, right? It's like, oh my God, it was the best gift in the entire world. Oh my God. It was amazing. That, yeah. That's when we were like, okay, the bucket is the game, basically. <laughs> the, the hanging bucket. <laughs> this piece symbolizes the relationship between bucket and humanity. However clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there's yet always more out of reach. This distance inevitably is for our own good. Is this the infinity hole? Oh. Oh. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run <laughs> off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. <laughs> I love the idea that... All elements of the game are becoming increasingly obsessed with the bucket. Yes. <laughs> that everything else is all converging towards bucket. Yes. Yes. Oh. That's correct. It would have really ruined it if there was, like, any anything more to the bucket. <laughs> oh, I agree. I completely agree. I completely agree. There's nothing there. <laughs> I completely agree. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I completely agree. Oh, All you want to see? Okay, it was asked earlier what my favorite bug is. Stan had decided to go yeah, yeah, yeah. To okay, room. yeah, yeah. Go to the boss's office. Don't pick up the bucket. <laughs> Stick it uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I just—that's a very nice touch. So take the left here. I—I I just keep following his instructions. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just follow his he instructions. He entered the door on his left. Okay. Chat's pretty upset about the bucket. How come? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. So it actually shows. <laughs> nope. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The bucket, we're, we're not doing the bucket right now because we're looking at a non-bucket thing. But we'll, so, just give it give it a second. Glad you're consoling them. Hey, I'd be I'd be pissed if Stepping I didn't have office, my bucket. Stanley was once again stunned also. to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark the, um, secret was being held pad, from whatever. him? Yeah. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Oop. Stanley couldn't Oop. possibly have known this. I'll just, 
want to get one more line from him. The streamer instincts in me are saying to not <laughs> sit here and wait for twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Is there an 8 Easter egg? You can, no, it does if you do it again. Oh. 2845. I think you have to do it like, I think you have to fill it with 8 like twice in a row. Eight. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Do it. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency <laughs> overhead <laughs> kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. Oh, and Stanley funny. got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. Okay. Cool. Yeah, shit like that is why people sit around in empty rooms for hours while playing this game, because sometimes it does do something. Yeah. Uh, go down? Yep. Go down. And then go to the mind control facility. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read mind control facility. Okay. So go ahead and don't push the button, but see if you can get up onto that table. Okay. All right, now get up onto the rail. Oh. Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable <laughs> first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on <laughs> Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. <laughs> we'll call it the bottom of the mind control room ending. If that enhances your perception of the value of these updates, isn't that what you crave? New content? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every <laughs> nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this <laughs> section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track... Good job, you've made it to the bottom <laughs> of the mind control facility. Well done. Good job, you did it. Good job. <laughs> Three, two, one. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful. You should have been careful. <laughs> Who's singing? It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending. Now it's an ending. Can I get some dance frogs in the you. chat? Hell yeah. Uh, this is a, a certified dance frog good. moment. This is a huge dance frog Chase moment. Your dreams, but railings don't mean <laughs> I, like, I really like that it is pitch job, black. There's it. nothing good to job, do. You did it. Good job. You did it. Good job. You did it. Good job, 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 you did it. All right, so that's that's my God. That's very funny. That's the bug I I quite enjoy oh. very much. What are the, can you spoil? What are the other effects that can happen? I don't remember this. Was this From what? new? Oh, this? Like, yeah, yeah, this can happen. Um, there's other things Finally, where the layout of the office can change, great. like you saw you where it was like the blue room. Sometimes part of I one of the... What I no, that's okay. just, no, that's just a random thing that can happen. Um, and uh, yeah, it can, the office can get longer, it can get shorter, it can actually, like this thing right here, it can turn left rather than right. Oh, whoa. Yeah, and that's, that's uh, a whole thing. How long have we gone? It's four. Um, yeah, how long do you want to go? 
Uh, start to wrap up. Why don't, sure. we just, why don't we do a bunch of questions? Oh, yeah. I thought it'd be cool. Um, Do some... I feel like... So, we, we, I know so we is, there, is there other, like... From this point on, it's like small things added? Or is there another, like, giant chunk that I've... Or you don't want to say? There's there's stuff, yes. There's stuff. Hmm. Could you, like, direct me towards a new thing? Uh, Quit the game. Yeah, quit to desktop. <laughs> I forgot that it still costs it. And... Yeah. It's me. <laughs> Does this only happen if they set it to something other than we have custom versions of this for every version of setting it to midnight both times <laughs> or setting it to midnight the first and then not the second <laughs> or setting it correctly the first time and then to midnight the second. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that it's called Spar Tan Par Parable Two mm -hmm. from this point onwards. Yeah, when yeah. you when you refuse to market or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's very correct. Uh, this is why this is why we had such a, a we've had such a, a problem with Stanley. um uh marketing this game and talking Stanley to people about it because everyone is just like, oh, I didn't know that there was so much new stuff in it, you know. <sighs> Welcome back. Okay, yeah. All of his co-workers were gone. Um, what could it mean? So there's Stanley decided to there's go to that, the meeting room. There's Perhaps the, he you know, simply you missed can, a memo. You can quit and reset again, and there's you know bucket stuff and the figurines and. Yeah, yeah, lots, yeah, lots more to do. I'm just. Yeah, but I mean that—that's like the. At this point, you know, you just you just do those things. I'll I'll, I'll do one. Oh yeah, do four thirty-five. Oh, times. please, are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that <laughs> all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little. Was this effort. in the original? A yes. measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door twenty times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 right. clicks. There we go. <laughs> I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? God, I totally forgot. Did you do this in the first one? I, I did, but like... So again, I remember the idea, but none of the details. I remember yeah. like you have to click more than five times, but not that he sends you to a different door. Oh, great. Now, go click a few <laughs> times on door 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Now, back to door number 437. Oh <laughs> Of course, chat wanted me to do this. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, <laughs> the copy machine? 
All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> uh, I know it's the whole point of the game, but it's truly amazing how you can just have Kevin Brighting like tell people to do a thing. <laughs> and it okay, just, now it feels... let's climb on employee 419's desk. It feels like cheating sometimes. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. We've almost got it. <laughs> now the copy machine. Do that one again. Okay, no, it's further back. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Yes, <laughs> we did it. Oh wow, that felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago you believed an achievement <laughs> was worth five little clicks. Really? Uh, I, what were you thinking? I, re I remember initially writing this, and I wrote into the script, I wrote something like, and the energy level should, like, be, like, increase as each line, you know, goes, like, to each next one. And, like, in my mind, because, you know, Kevin's, like, style of narrating, I was like, oh, yeah, he'll, you know, like, raise it a little bit and then a little bit. And then, like, when you send it back, he's literally screaming <laughs> by the end of it. <laughs> I did not tell. I did not write to scream into it. He just. He was just like, I get it. I'm gonna scream my face out. Um, all right. I got a message from Dom again. Art director. Crows. 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 Uh, Dom uh, responds to the question about the Unity importer tool. Oh yeah. It gave us some of the level geometry as well as positions of some source entities, uh, logic stuff. Took a lot of manual fixing up and polish, though. The very first version was super rough without any lighting and basically unplayable. So there you go. Uh, and also, and and someone also asked, who's singing the bottom of the mind control facility song? Yeah. That's Dom on vocals Love and it. guitar. Love it. Uh, and also, um, friend has a question about employee 432, apparently, which I don't know if you want to get into, like, deep lore stuff, Stanley Parable stuff. I'm sure. Um... Because employee 432 is uh, the... Hang on. Go over. So this is employee 432. Uh, employee 432 hasn't been given a lot to work with <laughs> at this job. Uh, employee 432 is, is not... Yeah. <laughs> having, having a rough day. And uh, in the original game, you can find papers scattered like throughout the game that ref <laughs> that sort of imply that employee four three two is the subject of like a a massive surveillance campaign to <laughs> see how long a, a human being can psychologically buckle <laughs> or how long they can last before before buckling under the the pressure of not having any pencils to use because there's specifically no pencils. In the game? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Specifically, Employee 432 has been given no pencils. Okay, okay. It's part of the survey. And uh, and so there's there's a, there's actually a number of different pieces about how Employee 432 um, isn't able to do his job effectively. <laughs> and, uh, and I guess it's like a little bit of a spoiler for later stuff. Yeah. Um, if you want, if you, I guess at home, if you want, if you don't want like a small spoiler, I'll. This is the spoiler thing, and you can mute. And when I put my hands down, it'll be no more spoiler thing. But l later on, this is like small, but later on in the game, uh, the settings person that you saw at the beginning uh, comes back, and it is uh, the settings person is the basically revealed to be employee four three two. And Wait, sorry, who's the settings person? The, the person who set your settings at the start, like who just now told oh, you to set oh, the clock. Set yeah, the yeah, time. told you to set the time. And we already had that all built in. And then we later on realized, oh my God, what if employee 432 
has been driven so psychologically mad that they become the fabric of the universe setting things for you and is like evaporated from off of the plane and that all came after we had already done the settings person stuff and then we were like oh my god I it'd be, realized it'd be really one of the same it'd be really funny if we tied it into this lore because we hadn't done anything else with employee 432 at that point <laughs> um so and most people wouldn't Look no, at this and no, go. <laughs> no, no, no. Lore, like the lore a little deeper. It's it's really oh. really obscure. Yeah, like it's not something you'll almost ever. And there's a there's a piece of paper that that um that clarifies that, which is very very hidden in the game. So most people will never see that. But it, it's like a very deep thing. Yeah. Love it. Okay, we're done. Thank you, everyone. No more spoilers. Nothing else will be spoiled. Uh, do you want to take a yeah chat question? Let's do a few questions. All right, all right, we have all these. Uh, we have all these game design questions. How many questions are there? Uh, seven. We got seven. seven game okay, okay, questions. we can get through seven. I thought there were going to be like a thousand. Yeah, me too. Well, I made them very expensive. Um, all right, so that's it for the game. Everybody should go stimulate the economy and buy Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. But now, feel free to ask some additional questions. You can buy the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe on Steam, Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series, Xbox One, and Series One uh, S and X, and also uh, PlayStation's Four and Five. Whoa! Okay, uh, design questions. Uh, this one is just the name the name of the long game that you made in your HUD video. Well, I'll answer the question. <sighs> this is so much words. All right. I see you enjoy very loud sounds like your brother. Have you ever played Lego Legend of Old School Final Grand Elder Star World of Zelda Warcraft Kingdom Call of Dark Half Breath Raid and of Animal Shadow Life Risk Scrolls of Skyrim Wars Legend Crossing The Metal Duke New Super Red Hearts Wild Duty Banjo New Kazooie Super Fantasy Fallout Horizons Team Dead Mario Souls Donkey Kong Sims Theft Gear RuneScape Redemption Fortress Solid Rayman Witcher Mario Autos Autosana what up? What Tetris, Undertale, Odyssey, Halo, Fortnite, Rain Five? No. Thank you for the. Thank question. you for the question. When balancing adding content, was there a lot of it you had decided to not add because while it might have been fun, it was against the direction you wanted the game to go? I will say that is a much funnier question. Now Jesus learning that you remade the entire game for the bucket. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't even know if these people are still here. This These questions were asked three hours ago. Yeah. Well, they can watch the VOD, I guess. Okay. Floompy, thank you for the five gifted subs, by the way. Thank you. Oh, and... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, Zachary. Hey, there. You're still here. Cool. Uh, honestly, the thought about... the You know, the, the thought about um, the direction we wanted to go... I, I mean... We, we made what was fun to make, I think, is the big thing. And the reason why we did so much bucket content was just that it was it was fun. It was funny, you know? <laughs> um, we just thought it was interesting. Um, God, I love that sentence. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just the reason we did so much bucket content is because we found it. Was it was funny. Fun. Like, okay. No, so, I know it's genuine. It's just funny. Yeah. It, so, like, <clears throat> so, like, with the bucket, for example, like I said early on, it was mostly just voiceover changes and then as we we began changing one ending after another after another with more substantial bucket changes and it got to the point where i remember the very last one that i did was the freedom ending where you just follow all the narrator's instructions right because yeah, there's yeah. so little there that it seemed like it was really hard to do anything with it you know yeah. i was like okay i just wrote a different line of vo about how stanley and the bucket leave the building together and they have a beautiful life that they live together and i remember like we were we were sort of play testing it with all the bucket content in there and i realized that every other ending was so different and unique that the freedom ending now felt uh, it, it it didn't it didn't it wasn't doing enough basically mm -hmm. and so so we so I rewrote the freedom ending to actually make it more substantially different. And so we started with just adding bucket stuff because I thought it was really cool. And then as time goes on, it's like, oh, now we can see that the game is want is like almost asking us to get everything up to that level, right? Like, okay, we've gone this absurd already. So we need to maintain that level of absurdity, basically. Yeah. Right. So that was that was the thing. It was it was 
we just start with what's fun and interesting, and then we have to go as far as we need to in order to, to you know, to not drop the 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 level of yeah. what we're doing, right? Wait, hold on. I have a question. You mentioned how, a f like, maybe a year ago, six months ago, you were like, we have these ideas, and I think they're really coming along well, and right now we're just trying to get them even better. Was this part of it where... During the development, you were saying, like, these things are really coming along. We need to push it a little bit better. That you and I talked six months yeah, ago? Well, it's, yeah. And you just, I just broadly asked, like, how's Stanley That's going? That's probably what I was referring <laughs> Is to. Is this bucket content? I think, I, 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 <laughs> if, I don't remember specifically, but I'm pretty sure what I was referring to was. I think you had, you had just reviewed the latest build. Yeah, and you were like, this is I, like, I really like no, how no, it's no, coming. I, I think I'm pretty sure this is literally what I was talking about was the bucket. Because the thing was. When the but when all that the bucket did was replace dialogue across the entire game, I realized that. Like I was I was playing through it and I realized that, it just didn't have as much impact. Like it was easy for the bucket to start to feel repetitive fast. And I've even seen you know people say that the that, I, I've even seen people say that the bucket, even at its most you know impactful, didn't change things enough for them. And I I understand that, but. If it makes you feel any better, it used to change even less. Uh, it used to literally just change the voiceover. Yeah. And it was easy to see that it was going to start, like, grading on people's experiences by feeling repetitive. Like, too repetitive. Yeah, and then you had to... And yeah, then we just... But really it was like pushed. we were already so far in at that point, you know, um, that there we couldn't turn back, you know. Uh, we we were like, okay, no, we're we're this invested. We have to make the bucket as like impactful as we know it could be, and that yeah, that added more time onto the thing. But fortunately, you know, everyone everyone liked it and was was on on board. I know you you probably don't want to do merch. It would be funny. Yeah. To, you, it would be funny to do bucket merch that where it's it is literally a bucket and it is indistinguishable from another bucket. Uh, uh, yeah, like it loses that, all humor as soon as it's a Stanley Parable bucket. But the the merch <laughs> also make a branch of crows, crows, crows that sells buckets. Your sta official Stanley Parable merch is already for sale right now at Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You'll have to find which one it is. We did hide it into the shelves. <clears throat> um. Yeah, so uh, we we do we like the idea of merch, but also everyone has worked very hard on this and just shipped a game, and you know it's like okay, we're gonna take a break and chill. And we well, there's also a bunch of there's there's some bugs that need to get fixed that people have brought to our attention. So um, you discovered the secret gaming word, bugs. Oh man, that's loud. Keep this over here. Yeah, it's yeah. Closer. We need to make sure it's well, on it's hand. Easy, easier for me to <laughs> to activate. Didn't you say bugs? Said, we've said bugs. We've a said lot. bugs a we lot. There was a, so a whole <laughs> question that was just about bugs that caused us to, to go bug. to a okay. bugs place. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this program is so good. Okay. Hey, Davey, you're huge, you're huge inspiration for me. How? Thank you very much. How do you manage to keep up the air of secrecy in this kind of era of LPs and streams? I'm always slightly paranoid about creating a game with a big secret at the center of it, having that secret known, Day Zero. Oh, also, by the way, I'll hail all the right. shit now kick. strike this part from the record. <laughs> hey, they paid the however much money. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, the air of secrecy thing is kind of, I guess... After a certain point, I, I have a reputation now for, for doing stuff like that. So it's easier to, you know, uh, it's easier to, to you know, make, make it part of your, like, market it as part of your brand. Yeah. But you but you and I were talking about how with Stan, with Ultra Deluxe, we really, really hid from people what all what was in there and what all yeah. we were doing with it. And in some ways that worked against us because, I've, you know, yeah. some YouTubers and Twitch streamers have been like, oh, I literally, I knew there was a thing coming out, but I didn't think it was actually new stuff, so I wasn't going to play it. Yeah. So, like, yeah, that, that can that can also have, you know, the that impact. But, but I... I think that um, I think it's easy to get caught up in secrecy for the sake of it, just just because. Like, I think it's easy to get really precious about your content and about um, you know, uh, like like when you start to get scared of people finding out what you're working on. Um, I don't think that's a good place to be. 
uh, people are going to find out stuff no matter what. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> it's, it. you know, I thought about it from time to time. I was like, if Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe had leaked or something, or some people somehow found a way to, to you know, f uh, find out everything in it, it's like, okay, well, if you're going to go and look that stuff up, you obvious, you know, I think a lot of people would not have even wanted to look it up because they want the surprise and they, they know that the, the surprise is the game, yeah. you know? <clears throat> um, so I, I don't worry too much about it because if someone would, would ruin it for themselves, like that's, they, they're already looking for a certain kind of experience out of it anyway. And it's just, it's effort and energy trying to hide things from people, you know? Um, uh, like, you know, with, with me trying to, with, with, with after beginner's guide came out and, you know, me like avoiding the question of, is it real or not? And then at some point I was like, all right, it's just too much effort. Like it's, you know, it's cause it's, it's fiction and I don't care. I, I'll just tell people that. Right. Yeah. It, cause it just gets to be like too much energy to try to, to hide stuff from people. You know, it's exhausting. Um, so I still like keeping, I still like keeping things secret. But I just don't go, I just I just don't do extra work to hide it anymore. It's like yeah. if you want to experience it a secret, then you'll get to experience it a secret, you know? Well, I will say you, I mean <laughs> yes, but you also discovered you... the secret gaming word model. Did we? <laughs> Did we though? Did we? I mean whoop 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 um... You did do the ultimate thing of not really explaining there's new content in the game. <laughs> like, yes. The way you... Well, we did say there's new content. We we did... That was a part of our thing was there is new yeah, content. I would say just... that you massively undersold yes, this game. Yes, I agree. Which is sort of related to yes. this, of like letting but it be a secret. But that's not... That's... Okay. Okay. Here's the thing, though, is that while you're working on it, you can... I, I didn't care if someone found out, right? Like, if a journalist was, you know, if Jason Schreier posted a huge expose on <laughs> on the exact amount of content in Ultra Deluxe, <clears throat> yeah. I'd be like, okay, cool, people are excited about our game then. And the people who actually want the final experience are just going to experience it the way they want to experience it. Yeah. So, you know, there's emotionally, I, I think, that being kind of at peace with whatever happens is, I, I probably felt more cautious about trying to make sure things don't get spoiled when I was... A, a little bit younger and today i'm less likely to give a shit yeah yeah that's fair game's hard i mean we've talked about this a little bit but making a game over years and only then getting to release it and well, get feedback the, the, versus like youtube where it's the, every week the sir yeah with... well the the secrecy isn't Ooh. even the problem the secret the, the problem is the emotional kind of yuckiness of getting stuck inside of working on a thing for that long yeah yeah that's yeah, the well, bigger yeah, which problem. I guess, yeah, those are kind of separate. Yeah, actually. that's the bigger problem. Yeah, but all of that, including like, including holding back on the thing you're doing, like, yeah, it all seems, uh, yeah, tiring, exhausting. Well, game design is tiring. Yes, that's the bigger. That's the thing. Yeah, really sorry. I was, game games are hard. Or games hard. are just games are just hard to they make. Seem hard. Whichever how whichever way you do it, games are hard to make. Could I switch to just YouTube? Way easier. You just. Make, nothing, make is less, nothing is less nothing is less appealing nothing is less GTA appealing to me in the entire world nothing is less appealing to me in the entire world uh may you asks what do you think about gabe newell's philosophy about video game piracy being a service problem i don't know what this is i don't know what this is referring to unfortunately i mean well, what do you you would have gotten the secret business word if it hadn't already been discovered <laughs> that's true i'll get we'll, you your, your points we'll back we'll Refund, uh, pyre, pyre fly. Oh, that's a good one. I'm curious asks, about this. <laughs> refund this if it's already been answered. But what point of your life did you realize you wanted to make a game? Um, I think as a kid, I I liked the idea of make. Like I think I assumed for a long time I was gonna make games. Uh, just that, that's what I remember is that both of us, basically forever, yeah. knew gaming was the career. But the thing for me was that around high school time. Because there were all these, like, you know, there weren't colleges you could go to for video game design. There were, but there weren't a lot, and they weren't established. They weren't well-established programs. And so when it came time to figure out where to go to college, I decided to go to film school. Because that seemed more, you know, like, normal yeah. and and uh, acceptable, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, going, going to game school was like you go to some little magnet school, you know. Yeah, that's why I did uh, programming. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. 
And and so I convinced myself, because when I thought about the games that I wanted to make, I knew that what I liked most about them was writing story. That was the thing I liked about about it. And then in my mind, I went, well, hang on. If what I really like is the story, then I should go work in film because film is just the story part without the gameplay part. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Doesn't work like that, though, unfortunately. I did go to film school, and I did not like it. Uh, I just didn't... I like movies, but I didn't care about them enough to want to make them. And I learned that. And then while I was in college, learning I didn't want to make movies... I began making Stanley Parable in my spare time. And that was where it came from was, I mean, uh, I played Half-Life mods like Dear Esther and Radiator. And I thought, hey, I can do that. And the original idea was to try to get a job at Valve because I thought that was back when Valve was making Portal. And so I thought, hey, I want to be a part of something like that. And so I made a Half-Life mod to try to imitate that. And, uh, and then it turns out it just, became its own thing and you got a job offer to work at dota <laughs> just to no uh, i riot this. no riot oh you did i was a joke you did i did riot did offer me a job yes. oh wow so, like as a writer i i don't know they just it was just like do you want to just work at riot <laughs> there's literally that was it was a lot less defined at that point yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah i remember that yeah they were just kind of yeah they were early then huh yeah yeah uh and that's your biggest regret in life <laughs> jesus christ uh, what inspired DM Megzi asks, what inspired you to have the setup prompts become a character? Also, unrelated to game design, do you like potatoes? Bo uh, so this is, all right, hold on, answer this first. Boiled potatoes. Do you like boiled, like a, a boiled potato? How, I don't, how many boiled potatoes? I don't eat a lot of boiled potatoes. Yes, yeah, so what's your opinion on them? If somebody offer, if somebody's like, hey, should I, w would you be interested if I made boiled potatoes tonight for dinner? I can tell that there's a lot riding on this question. No, it's there's nothing. But yeah. Anyway, so what's your? Yeah. Okay, no, no, I, I'm not kidding. I'm 100 percent honest with you. I don't know what a boiled potato is. Like I don't like. I'm not saying. Big, I, big potato. Like I, I baked under potato, baked, baked, okay. potato, baked potato. I, yeah, baked potato. Okay. I mean, boil. I don't. Know, maybe boiled is the same thing. But baked potato. You bake a potato. I. It depends on what comes on it. It, if they're like just, butter, just a potato, butter, like you're talking about yes. literally, you'd pull baked the baked potato, potato and like pull, eat, eat right a bite, out, right take out of a bite, oven. take a bite out of gloves. it. Yeah, and you bite into it. Like it's hot, like it's straight out right. of the thing. <laughs> the, right. because, because, because the question is not, do you like butter and delicious toppings? Yeah. The question is, do you like potatoes? Okay. All right. Let me this has been the question. I'll answer the and question. I, 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 I strongly believe potatoes are awful and people just like the things that go on potatoes and so i'm curious if somebody offers you a baked potato are you excited i if you put a if you turn to the oven to 450 degrees yeah and put a brown potato into it and left it in there for you know 20 minutes yeah and then opened the oven and grabbed it from with <laughs> right, your bare raw, hands yeah, raw. and you put it into your it. mouth and took a bite out of it. I haven't done it. Okay. But I don't. But yes, I would love that. No, I would love it, that. Fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it. No. <laughs> Shit. Well, <clears throat> whatever. He's, he's drunk. He doesn't know what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, I've been. Yeah. Um. Go. Oh. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Thank you so much for the 12 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what inspired part. you to have the setup prompts become a character? Which I assume this is referring to the setting the time. Uh, per the which we we call we call uh, we call them settings person uh, on the on the team. So it's funny to hear other people's and uh, other people's names for this person. Um, I think that the settings person just came from we were like, what all can we do with Stanley Parable that we didn't with Ultra Deluxe that we didn't do with the original game. You know, like we wanted to surprise people because that was the fun is and if we just added new branching paths like, oh, and now there's just a path that goes over here and has a new ending. And now there's a path that goes over here and has a new ending. Yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't surprise people, you know, that or that we, we could surprise them within it. But we wanted to surprise them in other ways yeah. that were bigger than the game. And so, you know, things like the bucket or the settings person, all of those were just questions about what could we do with a new version that would be outside what something people aren't expecting 
you know. Yeah. And that was just it. This was literally, and then just, okay, we could have someone set the time. It's really funny to have a character whose sole purpose is to comment on you setting the time in the game. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, P. Yeah. Cubicles asks, without saying what it is, do you like your favorite ending from Ultra Deluxe Edition more than your favorite edition uh, ending from original Stanley Parable? I did answer this, uh, but Skip Button is my favorite and my favorite Stanley Parable thing ever. Yeah. yeah. I, I like it. Yeah. It's just, it's my favorite Stanley Parable ending of, of both games. Yeah. yeah. Uh, of all things, why a bucket? Uh, also, was it inspired by the Companion Cube? This is a question from Deft Whistle. Uh, for the life of me, don't remember why Bucket. I just remember that er very, very early we were like, y now, you know, what can we do with Unity that we was harder to do with Source? <laughs> what can we do with, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is the technology <laughs> of... <laughs> Unlock. <laughs> yeah. And the idea of carrying carrying an, ob an in-world object around with you was something we liked. And... I, I don't exactly remember, but I think I probably just said why not a bucket. That's I I I don't remember what what the there was no reason for it being a bucket other than just that's a thing you could carry. Why not? There you go. I don't think it, it was just occurred to me that he doesn't even carry it by the handle. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just all it's like, like hug. a cradle. It's like a hug. Yeah, like cradle. You know, like, like a joy like a like uh, you would hold a child or a or a, a cat, you know? Yeah. Um, potato. It was not inspired by Companion Cube. The Companion stuff really didn't even come until later because sort of like I mentioned to you, the early idea was literally just that the only thing would change would be that he says uh, that he says Stanley in the bucket. Yeah. That was going to be the only thing. And the like it being a companion thing was really didn't come in until later. Um, until after we kind of like, you know, had the bucket more sort of rolling yeah um yep cool how many more we got three more uh we need bump scarcity on all games can you make that can happen you and go can into i all personally the games? bump scarcity does actually change the uh the there's like lines in the office yeah that the narrator says when you restart the game bump scott that'll sometimes change with bump scarcity. oh that's actually that's awesome um yeah i uh and also buckets I can't promise that I can do it on all all games, but most. But I will try to get it into most games. Because you you did you got the the source code for Rocket League, and Gone Home Firewatch. So pres yes. presumably they just kind of open source the code to you. You have full access, read write. Actually, the source code for Firewatch and Rocket League are in the public domain now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the secret endings of the Stanley Parable. But only, like, yeah, we publicly person. released. <laughs> right, right. But like he presses a button which is like release the game. And it was so like he's tied to it like an Edward Snowden. Do you remember kind of... do you remember do you remember uh, uh Peter Molyneux's cube tapping game and if you get to the middle of the cube there was like a big oh, yeah, there's you... like a big surprise. Yeah. Yeah, that thing you get if you get to the center of the cube, the source code for Rocket League. <laughs> <laughs> In the Stanley Parable. Yes. Ultra Deluxe. That's the new ending. Quicksparse asks, is the secret formula of game design to watch Family Guy Season 10? And how would you design StarCraft Ghost if you were in charge of it? Quicksparse, Quicksparse is referring to my podcast. Uh, I guess I'll plug my podcast. My podcast. my podcast is called The Inspirational Quarterly. Uh, you discovered it, the secret business word, quarterly. Hey! <laughs> hey! Business right there! Business! Can I get a dance frog in chat? You don't have to aim it at me. I have to aim it at you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry, okay. <clears throat> um, yes, money. <laughs> I like that the vast majority of these words we've come across in ways that are not even remotely related no, to their business yeah. or game design. Uh, I, there's no possible strategy yeah. here for any of this. Yeah. Um, yeah, so my, my podcast is called The Inspirational Quarterly. My friend Kara Ellison and I have been... You discovered the secret business word, quarterly. No, oh, oops. Yeah. I thought we had a new one there, but... I forgot to apply it. Um, And uh, 
our podcast, we we read and review and discuss the 2006 StarCraft Ghost spinoff novel, StarCraft Ghost Nova. That is StarCraft colon Ghost colon Nova. The novelization based on the unreleased video game StarCraft Ghost from 2006. Um, and uh, we read through the book at a rate of about five pages an hour, um, <laughs> yeah. dissecting it in unnecessarily uh, extensive detail um, with m- long tangential diversions into other things like watching uh, m- like watching episodes from season 10 of Family Guy. There was a l- significant amount of time spent diverting into discussing family guy and all sorts of other stupid things so we've spent about the last we've spent a little over a year reading the book we're near the end now <laughs> um it's like at least an hour a week and they're yes and it's taken year. us yeah no it took a lot like when we started <laughs> watching family guy the pace dramatically slowed because <laughs> uh, every Half of every episode oh was just spent discussing season 10 of Family Guy. I watched, I'm like nine episodes in, and it's like a fever dream because we get stuck on the same part <laughs> for like multiple episodes. There's just no progress <laughs> at all in the book. It's really great, um, but it is, a, it is a fever dream. Can I get some dance frogs in chat for the inspirational quarterly? Oh, yeah, dude. <sighs> I love your, your music deck thing here it's great right okay we got one uh last game design question um this is from coconut 72 72 thank you coconut 72 as a game heavily revolving around its story have you played outer wilds and dlc and what did you think of it as a games writer also assuming you watch his videos what's your favorite doug doug vid i do not watch his videos i've been trying yeah just like he's never played the Stanley Parable. <laughs> um, I keep hiring people to like try to serve it to him and like just show him like a, a video on a, an iPad before he can look away. But he started to identify them before they even get to the front door. Well, my my favorite of your streams was definitely the um, AI uh, f- uh, most pa- the video game characters fighting each other, and he showed me the art for the upcoming video for that which is amazing it's gonna be really really good i'm super stoked on that that'll be this week sometime uh i have played outer wilds and i really like it except that it stressed me out so much oh yeah i forgot yeah i forgot you didn't play it yeah like i i god i loved it so much but i was like sweating i was sweating my ass off the entire time and it got just to be like intensely uncomfortable playing Outer Wilds. It was it was great. It was like truly, truly an amazing game. But I just like every time it every time I I just would make like a tiny bit of progress and then lose the progress. It was just I don't know. I just found it it was really hard. So I I watch other people play it and I got to experience all of it and see all the really cool stuff, you know, and and um and same with the DLC and and it's like wow it's amazing it's so co- cool it's so incredibly intricate i just didn't want to play it um so yeah and i don't i don't remember like elden ring <laughs> well for, for both yeah. of us to some extent yeah and i d- i don't remember too much of the story uh from outer wilds because i know that there's a lot of lore that connects everything together um, but I don't remember it. I, I assume if you've actually played it, it probably sticks more in your mind. Oh, but the the uh, DLC story is really there's has a really interesting. Is this? I guess we should do a spoiler thing. Okay, spoiler for the DLC of Outer Wilds. And when when our hands go down, then <laughs> then the means spoilers are over. Okay, spoilers for DLC of Outer Wilds. Um, but the fact that the DLC is that the deer people were so upset about their home losing their home planet yeah. and they were unable to let go of it so they built all those simulations and yeah. so you have to like I really liked the idea that cuz the yeah. main the main game is all these other people dealing with loss with the lot with the the solar system dying yeah. but all of their approaches to it are to like try to find something to do and the deer people's solution is to like bury their heads in the sand yeah. and and like digitally reinsert themselves back into their old lives. I just thought it was a really different, unique 
unique take on the theme of dealing with things going away. Yeah. You know? So I, I did really like that about the DLC. I Yeah. I think it's beautiful. Both it's, beautiful. Games, yeah, it beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. The game is very... Okay, we're good. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I, I yeah, Outer, I mean, I've talked about it publicly. Outer Wilds is definitely one of my favorite games. The DLC I couldn't actually finish because it freaked me out too much. Um, but the the main game, I, and I watched the rest. The main game I was able to finish myself, and holy shit, what an experience. It, it is pretty terrifying, uh, but what a game. Oof, that's all the questions. Well, that's it. that I for I forcibly closed it. But those are all the questions that, uh, <laughs> before, that got all the, through. All the questions we got through before Doug disabled your ability to ask questions <laughs> um why don't we here why don't we do one last thing before we write out why don't you just read out all the messages in chat for about a minute that you think might have a word that will trigger it. one of the business words remember still have like 12 to chat go. this is for your graduate your graduation is on the line here okay? all right there's like 13 Pe more peggle, words peggle 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 delay business map scrotum snake dog gonna... invest peggle Barn finders, Peggle, divorce, it's not barn finders. Peggle, NFT, businessman, polygons, oil, divorce, stocks, cum, computer, game design, people, and business. Game design These and business. These are the business. two categories that the words are coding, barn finders, poop king, penis, <laughs> Pythagorean, uh, innovation, pizza, uh, You discovered the secret business word innovation. Innovation! <laughs> Sexy robot, promise, peg, achievement, jump king two, Brazil, <laughs> a... <laughs> twist, money, rigged, come, monopoly, parkzer, synergy, uh, textures, monopoly, uh, come to, rigged, <laughs> hack, branch, besties, scrotum, NFT, ball sack, All right, we'll give it ten more. touchdown, uh, when can I see my kids, come three, Doug cheese, uh, profit, Pegging, boob, bucket, capitalism, come five, slop, shit king, uh, All right, time, lie town, ROI, divorce, donut, tax fraud. Okay, you guys miss the following business words. 401k. You discovered the secret business word. Algorithm. 401k. Co-op, compiler, word, concept algorithm. art, credits, cutscene, disruption, DLC, word, Japanese. Compiler. Pikachu, prototype, quality assurance, super transformative, and walking simulator, which has that's two words. We, we got most of them, I think. Yeah. We got the vast, vast, vast majority. You guys passed this class, but just barely. You have to do a remedial summer class with me. So you, you don't get to leave. You discovered the secret gaming business word. Two. Walking simulator. You discovered the you secret, discovered gaming, the secret word. Right, gaming word. Gaming word. Quality assurance. You said QA a few times, I think. No, I it was written. <laughs> you did say it come. Um, all right. That's it. That's it. Hey, thanks for hanging out to everybody. Uh, thank you, Davey, for attending the, the classroom and teaching everybody wonderful things. Uh, this was, is this was great. That was fun. Yeah. Thank you a, for having me. I had a great time. Uh, next time I make a video game, I'll let you stream it okay. again. We'll do it. Oh, yeah. Do I have your permission, by the way? Because can I monetize this? Or are you guys going to DMC me? I'm going to DMC DA specifically you. Fuck. Everyone else is free to do it. But Fuck. You don't. Uh, but yeah. Okay. We're going to have to. You. I'll upload the video. I have to make sure you can't find it. <laughs> use uh, use red <laughs> herrings in the title. Yeah, exactly. You're going to hide it. Now, here's what you do. You're going to hide this video within a different video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's again? Oh yeah, the, the Outer Wilds review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and then yeah, uh, or no, you'll review the Stanley Parable, and then within that is your review for Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Nice. Um, thanks everyone for having me. It's been fun. Uh, wait, what's a good upbeat? Let's do an upbeat. No, let's go for finale. Finale. Oops. I mean, these are all be loud, you know. It's really all you can hope like for. What? I mean, this is like the Bowser's Fury. Yeah, Those but I wanted are... like a dancey thing. Oh, okay, then try uh, one of these. So one some of, these. of the right one. Bayonet is pretty dancey on the right side. Like this one. There we go. This is pretty dancey. Shall we? Uh, shall we end the stream on on this note? On this big dancey note? Hey, if you had a good time today, let me see some dance frogs in chat. Can I get some dance frogs? 
I want this chat to fucking pop off with dance frogs. <laughs> 